All right, guys, if you're listening to this podcast, we already know you're a beast, you're a legend, and you know how to have a good time, but we found the perfect drink. You guys already know what it is to level up any occasion. It's the P-dubs. It's the pirate water. It's for the ragers, the spring breakers, the life of the party. This is your new favorite drink, if it's not already your favorite drink. It's uh, pirate water. It's canned, ready-to-go malt beverage with 10% ABV. It's a tall boy. Don't forget that. It comes in four epic flavors. We have Miami Vice, Margarita, Sex on the Beach, and Bahama Mama. My current favorite is Bahama Mama. Shit is gas. Like we were saying in this episode, we're going to say in this episode, Drink that shit cold or put it on ice. Don't have a hot pirate water. Nobody wants that. It's so good. You can find it at drinkpiratewater.com uh, in a location near you, or you can order it on GoPuff right now. So let's get into the show that's completely and utterly brought to you by Pirate Water. Welcome back to another episode of Play Brioca. We are back. There goes your ears, because we are back. Yeah, we are so fucking back. It's been a while. I am happy to be back. I am so thrilled to be talking to you guys, because we have a lot to say. We have a lot to say. Okay, so we haven't really filled you guys in because we've done interviews since we left for LA. So I made an outline for us because we have a lot to talk about so that we don't forget about anything. It's very business official. So let's go over everything we need to talk about. This is what the whole episode is going to be about. It's kind of hilarious. You guys will be like, wow, I'm going to stay tuned. It's going to be a long one and you guys deserve it. You deserve it. Are you ready? Okay. LA during a flood. Party bus to San Diego. Poker night shrooms. Man that hated my guts. Slow it down. I can't hear you. Pirate water. Oops, shrooms. Mental <laughs> breakdown. How to go to the Ferris wheel. Talk about our podcast, Cynthia, Tara, Aaron, Carly. Josh side is hair pink. Okay, let's go film a reality show. Dorky and Doodoo get introduced. Yes. Uh, gonna stay for a while. One drink. JK, karaoke night. Enemies, we stay till last call. <laughs> Vanity Fair. I'm a fool. Truth or dare. Someone's gonna get hurt. Disney, oh my God, everyone's hideous. Soaking wet, not raining. Cars are killing us. Okay, time for spring break. Tommy Kelly Jr., pirate water party. <laughs> okay, melting, talking to trees. Please don't talk to us. We have invisible cloaks on. Aren't you supposed to be on a FaceTime call? <laughs> Told the man we were doctors and he believed it. I literally have pink hair. The Murdoch's reincarnated. Okay, no sleep. Let's go to Boston. Pirate water float. Boston, you crazy. Okay, time to go to New York. Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, just like <laughs> us. Mean Girls versus the world. Okay, now we're in a helicopter. Is everyone insufferable or is it just us problem? Keep it a buck. What the fuck do we do now? Ah! So we have a lot. We sure do, Brianna. That really laid it all out. I thought you were going to be missing some stuff. You didn't miss a beat, bro. No, I, I looked through everything. Buck. I keep it buck. And I'm trying to make sure we cover all bases here. <laughs> you got us going good, man. So well, let's start off. We, we went to LA. We went to LA. During a flood. During a flood. <laughs> it never rains in LA. Does it rain in California? Yes. Yeah. Nessa, it, it does. does. <laughs> yeah, it really fucking does. Seriously, we every time we've gone to LA, sunshine, butterflies, we're like, oh my God, I it's could beautiful live here. every day. <laughs> We go. The one time, it's raining every single day. It was 45 degrees out. It was so cold. I packed for summertime. Yeah, it was screwed, man. Mm -mm. So we got there. It was hell. We rented this sick Airbnb, but all of our guests were canceling on us because yeah. LA is not built for the rain. None of the people, nor the city. Like the city, they don't even have any drains in the streets. They just flooded. It was flooding. It was like rivers. It was and, hailing. And it's all hills. So at the bottom of that hill, you are in a pool of lake. And then you're just hydroplaning. <laughs> yeah. So everyone was canceling. And we're like, oh my God, seriously? Also, our equipment, because it was raining, got delayed for what? Five days, four days? Four or five days, yeah. It was, yeah. Like, it was like three to four so that's why our business days, <laughs> business days. Yeah, yeah. That's why some of our podcast episodes were in that studio, which defeated the whole purpose of us getting an Airbnb. <laughs> I know. And that's why the fuck, it was just all fucked. It was all fucking fucked, Grace. I fucking dropped my vape. I'm so fucked about it. Well, this. you can pick it up and I'll, I'll take care of things until then. There's a chewed piece of gum on the floor. We haven't been here, so that's not ours. <laughs> that's disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just sucked their fucking gum out on the floor. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yes. So we went to LA. It was raining. And... Um, hilarious. Uh, I was in the pool house. It was freezing cold. Oh, so we get there and Grace was like, no, I call the pool house. I really wanted the pool house. I wanted my own sanctuary. <laughs> but I get to the pool house. Well, first of all, I'm trudging through the lake of pool water because mm -hmm. the, the, the pool's backyard. overflowing. And I'm with my 15,000 suitcases because we had a pack for a month. We had so many suitcases. And anyways, I get to the pool house and it's fucking freezing cold. There's no heat because it's California. Mm -hmm. So, um... That was that. Uh, yeah, and then we were there, and then the <laughs> next day, we got on a party bus to San Diego. That was the next day? Yeah, it was the second day we were there. It's hard to recall. I know. That's why we made this, because I couldn't remember any of it. I looked through at all pictures. the pictures. I looked through all Snapchats, all context clues and text messages. I'm like, I can't miss anything. You did your due diligence. So we get, <laughs> we get there, and we get a text from uh, our boys, Loud Luxury, Andrew mm -hmm. and Joe, and they're like, party bus tomorrow, leaving from our place. Uh 
We didn't realize San Diego was like three hours away. So it's totally 1,000% three hours away. Yeah. <laughs> so we thought they were joking around, I guess. I guess we're idiots. Yeah. We we're like, it's a three-hour ride. And we said, no yeah, way. sure. <laughs> or what, what do you mean? And it was raining, so it was way longer because they don't know how to drive in the rain. No. Nah. So we get on this party bus um, sober. Yeah, super sober. We start friggin' chugging, man. Chugging. Three hours. Yeah. Three hours of drinking is dangerous on a bus because it's like once you get off, you can't stand. Yes. And, and also, where are you going to piss? Oh, you're going to piss in the parking lot at the gas station. And everyone's going to see your vagina. Yep. On the cameras. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there was a lot of vaginas and penises everywhere because we had to get out. They wouldn't let us pee in the freaking place. We had to pee in the streets. Yeah. Well, it was already flooded. So. It was flooded. Yeah. <laughs> we were just freaking doing our due diligence, pissing everywhere. <laughs> yes. So we did that. And then we go to the party. It was fucking awesome. Wild Luxury is sick. They put on a fucking show. If, if they are coming to your city, you got to get those tickets. Yeah. They're probably already sold out. I told you. I'll tell you now, they're the best. They they're really the best. do. They played all the banger hits. And they do these crazy remixes. They're like insane. They're so jumping lima beans. Yeah, they get the crowd going. They're not just like... Oof, and they oof, get the jokes, the, the graphics they make. Oh, oh my God. Fantastic. Plus yeah. they make remixes with memes. It's yeah, hilarious. It's great. So we had a friggin' blast. But then we had a four hour ride home. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard. It was... So Andrew was all hyped up yeah, after he just the show because he just crushed his friggin' show. <laughs> and so he's playing extremely loud techno. <laughs> deep. <laughs> on deep house all the way home for three hours. And I love to party, man. At one point, I was almost like the girls. There was these other girls on the other side of the, on the bus closing their ears like this. Like this. They're like this. Oh, like, ah, can we turn it down? And I, I get it. But um, one of the girls said, ride I'm with so it. tiny. Can you please shut it off? Oh, and then tiny. I thought she said her name was Tiny. So I was calling her <laughs> Tiny all night to her face. But I didn't know that wasn't her name. <laughs> and then when she got off, Grace was like, we calling her Tiny to her face. That's so mean. I'm like, that's her name. No, she's just a tiny girl. <laughs> that doesn't correlate. I'm so tiny. Turn the music down. I'm so tiny. Turn the music down and, and blast the heat. Plus the heat in a 20-person van. I was fucking <laughs> blocking the heat. She comes over. She's like, we need to put the heat on. I'm like, no, put a jacket on. Please, <laughs> Tiny. You have a jacket in your hand, Tiny. I'm sweating. My hair is out to here. I'm sweating so bad. I will hold you if you're that oh, fucking cold. Tiny girl. No, I won't. I'm sweating. Get off of me. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. This is a party bus. What did you expect? You honestly can't be calling the shots if it is not your party bus. No. And honestly... Ooh, I it's a party bus with kumbaya. The only thing that you can do on a party bus is party. Please, literally thank you. in the name. What is wrong with people? <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I'm, we're learning that. Yeah. So that was our <laughs> that was our first night really in LA. Yep. And then we were super hungover the next day. Oh my god. Yeah. Yakking around. Yakking around. And then we did podcasts. Uh, yeah, we did a couple podcasts, but uh, let's just go through all the fun stuff we did. Then we'll talk about the podcast. Okay. Um. And because we only didn't really have that many fun nights in LA. No, we didn't party that much. We didn't party because they don't party. The den night. The den night. The yeah, den night. <laughs> that's on here. That's poker night. Oh, so all right. let's let's get into that. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we get a text from Bryce Hall and Josh Richards that they pull up in there. What is it? A Ferrari? I don't know, dude. I don't even want to get. I think it was a Porsche. A Porsche. Yeah. But he kept saying it was a Ferrari. Ah, uh, fucking Bryce Hall. It was man. whatever the cheaper one is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he pulled. They pull up. They're always a good time. They always want to have fun. So yeah. we're like, obviously, we honestly, we always shit on Bryce. We always hang out with him. We always hang out with him. And he, <laughs> he's a he, fun time. He knows he how to rock and roll. Racks me up. Yeah, he's funny. He is a caricature. Yeah. So <laughs> we get we get with them and they're like, let's go to the den. We didn't get with them. Oh, you got with them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we get with these motherfuckers. Yes. And um, we are like, all right, what do we do? And Bryce says, we go to the den. I had a table there. And we're like, oh, you got a table there? Like, like a table like you... Mm booked a table yeah that's what we're thinking mm -hmm. but uh lo and behold we get there there is a table there with his name engraved on it on a plaque yeah <laughs> the bryce hall table it's the bryce hall table does anyone else have a plaque no it's just bryce's yeah which is kind of electric electric he just loves it there so much and that's his table that's I kind mean, of some frank sinatra shit he's kind <laughs> of a beast for that with his lambo ferrari porsche well can we talk about the lambo ferrari porsche for a second yeah <laughs> okay well when he gets there he shows up in that thing he must have just bought it that day because he was all feeling electric about it and he comes <laughs> in and he goes i feel like a daddy with this car and then we're like all right cool and then he goes nah come here come to the window come check it out and we were like all right we'll check out your lambo, lambo ferrari porsche and we go over to the window and he's like doesn't that car make you want to call me daddy and we're like bryce dude we were like come on. on you have us then you lose us you have us then you lose us i know us. He's, he's right there and then we're 
gone. <laughs> I can never tell if he's like, if it's satire or if he's... With him, I don't believe so, but boy, do I love to watch it. Yeah. It's crazy. We also invited uh, Juggly to that. Oh, yeah, Juggly. You guys met Juggly, finally. Finally, you guys met Jack Martin on the pod, and he did a hilarious bit about Cole Sprouse. And people loved that one because we were just chatting like friends. Yeah, that was good old <laughs> freaking pal shit. That was good. Um, but the same night as The Den... Bryce was like, I'm having a poker night. He, I guess, hosts a lot of poker nights. Yeah. That's what they do in LA. They play poker. They play poker because, you know, you're not going to go to a club like no. we do here. You're going to go play poker at Bryce's and that's what you do. And that's okay. And we went and we were yeah. like, okay, we don't really play poker. We don't know how, but we we're like, we'll go. Because we thought, you know, we assumed that there'll be other people to hang out with that are playing poker. Yeah. Not the case. Everyone was playing poker. We brought our other friends, Savion and Ricky, and we get there. It's us four. We walk in. We have a case of pirate water in mm-hmm. our hands. And like, a li- like, guys, we're not. Boop, 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 We're having boop. some technical difficulties. There's a UFO in the sky. Ooh, that's scaring me. I, I think like it's the TV. Noise. I'll turn it off for now. Bye bye. Uh, I was ready to fight for you guys. Oh, you have your guns up. I put, put them, them away back in your in holster. <laughs> we show up with a case of pirate water. Yes. Like a literal case. And we get in there. Everyone's playing poker. And we're like, okay, well, what the hell? We need cups for this pirate yeah. water because we need ice. Because yes. they were hot. Yeah, they were hot. They were hot. You shouldn't drink pirate water hot. No, but best deserved cold. It's best deserved cold. And <laughs> even served on a uh, ice cold platter is the best. Mm-hmm. So we went to get our ice cold platters in the kitchen yes. and they don't have any um, cups. And it was a frat house. Okay. These kids are all frat house kids. I mean, they're literally college age kids in mansions. Yes. What do you expect? So there was mold everywhere. Um, yes. There was, they are not. They need cleaners is what they need. Yeah. These kids are rich. Yeah. You get just, a cleaner. Oh, that's what I, I told them. I said, you guys need a cleaner. So they're coming on Thursday. I was like, okay, So cool. you just sit and filth till Thursday? <laughs> Not that I can talk, but... Uh, same, but I was like, that's crazy. I, that's what I said. I was like, you just sit in it till it's done. <laughs> One day clean. Yep, get it done. Um, but, they must hate them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but we couldn't find any cups, so we got bowls. Yes. We pour our pirate water in our ice, ice cold served in a cold, cold platter bowl. Mm-hmm. And we're drinking our pirate water in our bowls, and we were watching them play poker. And we, it's so funny, because we came out of the kitchen, and we have our bowls, and everybody at the table... Is everybody at the table, somebody knows somebody, you know what I mean? We didn't know many of them. We didn't know many of them, but after the fact, we're like, oh, those were somebody, those were some people, you know? I thought one of them was Trevor Wallace. Yeah, you did. I was doing the Trevor Wallace podcast coming out soon, but I went into the kitchen at first and I was like, oh, I meant to answer your DM because he DM'd me to come on the pod. And the kid was like, yeah. And I'm like, Wow, I'm not doing your pod, you wicked weird. And it was totally not Trevor Wallace. And then I go back Who out. Who was it? I don't know. And then I go back out to all you guys. I got to find his name so people know. And I was like, I looked. You're not going to find his name. Oh, he's with Bryce all the time. And, um... No, it wasn't that kid. Uh, what? I know. And I was trying to ask Trevor Walsh, who is that kid? And he was like, I get that all the time. Everyone thinks I am someone else. Oh, that is wild. He has a familiar face. He does. He does. Yeah. But I come back out and I go to all you guys. I'm like, Trevor Walsh is wicked weird. And everyone's like, Trevor Walsh isn't here. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I didn't even do shrooms yet. So I was freaking out. And then we just sat around until we thought it was time to go to an escape room. Yeah. So yeah, we did, we did some, uh, some shroomies and uh, we were like, where can we go that's not here? Mm-hmm. And there's not many options in LA, no. except for an escape room. Uh-huh. So we traveled to an escape room. Obviously, we booked it, and regardless of the booking, it's closed. It was a Wednesday at midnight. Yeah. And everything closes at noon on a Wednesday at, yes. m- at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> so we get there, and it was closed. So we, what did we do? We broke into someone's house. Oh, we did. I forgot yeah. about that part. <laughs> That's when the shrooms were kicking it. <laughs> we didn't really break into someone's house, but our two buddies used to live in this house and mm-hmm. all of their buddies still live in that house. So they knew how to get in because no one was there. Yes. But they were meeting us there. Yes. So they crawled through the window and let us in. And then uh, we're sitting there. The shrooms are kicking, man. I, I haven't tripped like that like in a very long time at that point. Mm-hmm. And motherfuckers are coming in from a concert. They're coming home to their house from a concert. They're all riled up, and I'm scared. Melting. Melting. I'm terrified. I couldn't even look at Brianna. It was friggin' crazy. I just kept going. <laughs> we, I, I, this was what I was doing all night. Oh, yeah. I just kept going. Ah, Praise the Lord. I and couldn't freaking do out. It. Our other friend had the hiccups the whole night, and I just couldn't stop laughing because he couldn't stop hiccuping. Grace was standing there like this. I'm so scared. I'm going, please don't talk to me. And then people started talking to us. Yeah. And when you, like... When you're on that level, you just kind of want to be with those people that are on that level. Yeah. And we were sitting on the couch and we started playing a drinking game. Last thing I really wanted to do, but it was hilarious. It was cracking me up. But I was sitting next to these two guys and 
I couldn't look at them because like they weren't in my realm. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? And they kept trying to talk to me, not trying to talk to me, but just like include me in the situ in the conversation. And I just kept looking and looking away. And I would look, <laughs> I would look to save Yon to like for every, for everything, because like <laughs> he would be my translator of what they were saying to me. And the kid looks at me and he's like, what am I invisible? Like, why do you have to go through him for everything? And I was like, I'm on drugs, man. And he was like, what? I want to leave. Like they hated my guts so much. I've never been in a situation where I could hear the people next to me talking about how much they hated me. While you're on drugs. That's like paranoia to the fullest extent. It's I not paranoia. Like, it's just real. It was real. And I was like, guys, I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm not talking to you. You hate me. Why would I want to talk to you, dude? <laughs> it was crazy. And, and they said something like, what's up? And I'm like, yeah, what's up, brother? And then the guy goes, oh, brother, brother, brother. Oh, no. I was like, dude, you can't make fun of me to my face right now. Like, I'm losing my mind. It's very rare to not be involved in the bit. Yeah. You know, when yeah. someone's doing a bit about you. Yeah. That's brutal. Yeah, so we were freaking losing our minds. So what did we all do? We left. We left. And we went back to our Airbnb mansion, and we couldn't get in, so we had to climb the fence. Oh, yeah, we did. We didn't climb the fence, though. There Save was no way. Did. Yes, and... Then we got in. We got in and we melted on the couch forever. And we watched YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, yeah. We watched every Sunday conversation ever. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> big fans. <laughs> yeah. It was friggin'. Uh, so those were like our two really big nights in LA. Yeah. We didn't really do much else. I'd say. So let's look it back. Um, so that's when we did the pirate water and then the shrooms. And we were like, oh, my God. We just really didn't do much. We were just chilling. Then it was work time because that was yeah. when everyone was canceling on us and we didn't have our equipment yet. Yeah. So then that was just two days. Mm -hmm. And then it was time to friggin do the pod. Should we talk about our guests that we had? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Uh, who do we want to talk about? Cynthia. Well, I think we have to talk about Cynthia first. We have to talk about Cynthia. We have to talk about Cynthia. Cynthia, so <laughs> going into it, I'm going to be blatantly honest i have no idea who she was okay i have to be just straight up i had no idea okay i knew that she was friends with uh those other two mm -hmm. and that's about it okay and i knew they were just those other two okay. so i went into it ready to learn about her okay it's a great skill well a learning skill a learning skill so yeah. i was i was i was all ears at yeah. that point yeah and we accidentally took those friggin cbd because we were trying to calm down yeah because we were all stressed out about our equipment not coming we had to book a studio the last day we were hung over from the pirate water shit so we we're like oh we'll take this cbd to mellow us out yeah that well, shit was crazy i don't know what THC it was cbd it was just didn't do what it was supposed to to me at least i was freaking freaking out i was feeling crazy i i was feeling hilariously crazy yeah <laughs> so we had we have cynthia on uh she was great she was fun like yeah. she went with the jokes it was awesome she didn't do any podcasts so like grace said we didn't know much about her we just knew like i knew her through bffs yeah and i i i did my due diligence but i couldn't find anything of her talking so i truly couldn't figure out what her so we had her on the pod and it was it was, i think it was a hilarious episode i think she had fun it was great um but it was just crazy because we were off that cbd crazy shit mm -hmm. and i was literally clenching my fist the whole time saying oh my god i'm gonna faint i'm gonna faint i'm gonna and faint. you're fainting and for some reason that shit the magic it did to me was i was just spewing words mm -hmm. wasn't Cynthia? Was Cynthia? what's your favorite color <laughs> <laughs> you're afraid of tomatoes <laughs> i was just spewing nonsense because of those thingies that was a silly little episode but then we had tavers world on yes that shit went dummy we were um we weren't sure how to how to do that one yeah, we didn't want people to get mad at us for having her on because we knew she was canceled for a lot of stuff. But also, like, I feel like when people are canceled for a lot of stuff, it's cool to get their opinion on the shit going on. Yeah. Like, I think you should hear both sides of everything because the internet can be a crazy place. Like, it trickles down and you just start believing shit that you're reading when it's not even true. Yeah. So that's why we wanted to have her on. Also, like, we knew her... Well, I knew her outside of the pod before and like she was very nice and like I liked her and uh, I mean like you need to separate someone from their online personality and their real life person. She's a huge fan of the pod. We're like, let's have her on. Yeah, yeah. And I think people got said we were being mean to her. I was trying to be my best Diane Sawyer. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I was, I was just in, we were just interviewing her. I was in, I was asking the questions that people wanted to hear, I thought. But I guess, I don't know, I guess I should have uh, taken a CBD gummy and chilled the fuck out. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I thought we did fine. I, people were very angry with me, but I just think uh, you need to ask the questions about what everyone's mad about. So yeah. how do you ask those questions without kind of coming off in a certain way? I'm going to tiptoe around it and just then and then be on a whole other side of things and trying to play like 
We just try to stay neutral on it. We just we just wanted to hear We're her just out, asking some questions. We wanted to get her opinions on what's going on in her life, so that you guys could hear it. We wanted to hear about how much money she makes on OnlyFans, we which to- is fucking crazy, crazy, dude. Three hundred fifty thousand dollars a month. I thought it was two fifty. Three hundred and fifty thousand or seventy. Three hundred and fifty or seventy. Three fifty. Three fifty yeah. a month. That is out of control, crazy. Do you think she was telling the truth? I feel like she has no reason to lie. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why, but for some, I just, I'm a little skeptical. That's just, fair. Yeah. A lot of people were skeptical. Yeah. I don't know, that money, that's like money. That's that, I think it's so, we're before. so skeptical about it because we can't comprehend it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We don't know anything about OnlyFans and it's also just like such a big number to get a month that we just, we're like, that can't be real. I know. Yeah. Type of thing. When in reality, it probably is. OnlyFans is fucking insane. We bought it. Oh, we bought it. Yeah. Yeah. We bought it. We watched it. Yeah. We, we were looking for the Lila one though. It didn't come out yet. It didn't that, come out at yet. That point. <laughs> no, it did not. But uh, yeah, I mean, great content. So uh, she's definitely giving you your money's worth. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's not even that expensive. I don't think. <laughs> no, I think, I think, so that's the thing about OnlyFans. Like there's different avenues to make your money. There's paywalls. There's paywalls. There's the DMing. There's all kinds of different ways that people navigate their own OnlyFans, which makes it um, like a unique experience to each woman. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So. Um, and they, them. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Just covering all bases so you guys don't fucking hate our guys. <laughs> Neutrals, um, fuck. Uh, we had uh, Carly and Aaron on. So oh, my God. We had Carly and Aaron on before we had Tara's World on, and we, like, literally fell in love with them. They were, they were awesome. awesome. They felt like they were our big sisters. Yeah. It was like we kept saying, like, it's like we're looking in a mirror. Yeah. They were so cool. It was so, like, that, that for me was probably the coolest people I've met just because I've watched them forever and it was cool to like I feel like a lot of guests we have on it's just like hi and bye they come in we chat we don't really like connect I know but I feel like with Carly and Aaron we were like oh my god you guys are just cool like we could totally be friends and the cool part was it was mutual yeah they were like we don't want to leave yeah like, that is really cool so guess what they didn't they, they stayed didn't. they stayed for the whole Tara's interview and then when Tara <laughs> left we hung out with them for like two more hours we had lunch together yeah it was, it was great lovely. they they are awesome girls so if you didn't listen to, don't listen to their podcast yet fucking listen to it because I'm I'm assuming it's probably better than this one no, yeah. we're idiots they're like more mature and they've they've been doing this shit like a lot of the times they were telling a story and I was like I know. I, I remember know that. that. I remember when that happened, and I was like, mm, "That's that's a crazy story." I know it's so <laughs> cool to like hear their perspective about it. Yeah, and it, it, that one was just so crazy to me because like I never thought I would be in the same room, let alone having them on our podcast, let alone being friends with them. I know it was just that was the coolest for me because it was like childhood brought together. Yeah, and then you said, "Yeah, I, I literally grew up on you like childhood." Like, come on, man. I know, <laughs> but they were my high school. They're ten years older than us. Yeah. So every high school day after school, I would go wait for a fucking vlog squad to drop but um yeah that was what cool time that was they were awesome um uh, and uh, we had jack martin on who else did we have on olivia o'brien was super cool oh yeah 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 you guys liked that interview with oh geo <laughs> geo was huge <laughs> i literally couldn't get a word out i was so nervous she's like i just have always really liked her I like her music. I actually bought her meet and greet, but it got canceled because it's so embarrassing <laughs> because it got canceled because of COVID. Um, and I wanted to say something to her so bad. She got up to leave. I stood up. I was like, I know when she left, I, I was like, say I, wanted, I, I almost wanted to put you on blast, but I was like, I don't want to do that. I know. I, wish I didn't I did know for if you, though. I know. I didn't know if I wanted her to know or not. I was like, I don't know if she's going to think I'm like a, like a crazy like fan. Cause I'm really not. I just really like her. I think she's really cool. She's really cool. She's yeah. Super normal. Yeah. Very yeah. Normal. And talented too. Mm-hmm. Like that was our only celebrity we got on. Yeah. I mean, she's a literal musician with a talent. Yeah. She yeah. literally played at Coachella. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> and then I said, I was like, you're our only celebrity we've ever had on. And she was like, no. I'm like, yeah, shut up. You're a celebrity. <laughs> yes. Own that shit, bitch. Um, <laughs> But she was super cool, gave a lot of different perspective on shit. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just so crazy because all of the guests we've had on, oh, yeah. like they moved out to L.A. when they were like 16 or 15. I know. And they've had to navigate things like on their own since that very young age. And it's just crazy because like usually you have your parents there to yeah, navigate things with you. And, so many lives. And they had to grow up so fast and it's just wild just to see. Yeah. And it was crazy because every one of them 
had such different like stories of LA. Yeah. It was just, it's insane. I don't know. It was crazy. So we had her on, we had Sarah shower. She was funny. Yes, she was really funny. She was hilarious. We just released that episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, this, that I Tana, love, Tana, obviously. Tana, yeah. Yeah. That's a given. Um, I thought Tana was great. Yeah. She's, that was awesome. Yeah. She's so good at podcasts. Yeah. She's yeah. really good. And she's very well spoken. Yeah, she is. And she doesn't hold back. Like that's yeah. what, that's what you want when, some people love Tana. On. That's it's why like, Tana's yeah. Tana. Yeah. Tana's Tana. Yeah, she crushed it. I was glad we got her on because she canceled at first and she came on. Obviously, we said that on the pod. <laughs> well, she, yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. Uh, people in LA cannot handle the rain. Yeah. So she canceled because she had to go to Cabo because it was raining in Literally. LA. That's so crazy. And so, so did funny. Olivia O'Brien. She, just, she was like, it's raining here. I'm going to go to Cabo. <laughs> I know. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that was like everyone we had on the pod. Yeah, and it was interesting... Um, about 70% of the guests were sober. Yeah. yeah. That was wild. <laughs> that presented was by Pirate Water. And yeah. everybody was sober. We were like, you want to try? Oh, you're doing, you're doing sobriety. So <laughs> Yeah. It was crazy. A lot of people. And I think that goes back to moving out there when you're 16. Yeah. Like, they've just, they've been drinking for so long. Like, they've living the party lifestyle for so long that it's like they they're done. Yeah, they're they're all set. Like we were doing it in like high school, but we weren't alone in LA partying like crazy people. Yeah, so we'd like probably be sober to like by now too. And stuff. Yeah, it's like, crazy. It's crazy. I wonder half of them are sober. I know. And need therapy. Like obviously, <laughs> yeah. that's fucking scary. <laughs> that's a given. <laughs> um, so those were our podcast guests, and then, uh, Josh dyed his hair pink. Oh yeah, that was crazy. And he just what he just texted you and said, "I want to do this." Yes, he texted. Me and was like, I'm going to dye my hair pink. No, I want to dye my hair. I want me to just read it, I guess. <laughs> I was like, yes, please. What is going on? <laughs> um, I think it looks a lot better now. Have you guys seen it lately? No. It's like faded and he's looking pretty good. Because at first it was bubble gum, bubble gum plank. You just got to re-up. It looks very nice. Oh, thank you. Chris. I like it a very lot, pinky dinky. I thank you. I'm wearing all pink, even pink socks today. No way, Brianna. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pinky dinky doo doo. Pinky oh, dinky doo doo. Okay, <laughs> when am I going to find these? Her and Josh text a lot. That's kind of crazy, right? Oh, my God. No, we don't. Okay. Yes, you do. You can't find it. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, well, we freaking work together, so we do have to talk. <clears throat> work together. Play together. Okay. Here I love go. the speculation. I it's hate so the silly. speculation. It's, it's so just, silly. You, you know what's real. <laughs> I know, but people really think it's real. And I'm like, guys, that is my freaking bestie. That is my best friend brother. And you freaking have a boyfriend. <laughs> and I freaking have a boyfriend. Okay. Um, He said... We should dye my hair pink. It'd be funny. <laughs> and use this audio. Go, uh, yeah, will you actually dye your hair pink? Think I'd have to do permanent? <laughs> I think we'd have to bleach it first to show up, LOL. Or we could spray shit. I was thinking we may have to bleach. <laughs> I say we do it. Yeah, it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> should we do it to get a hairdresser so it comes off and bleach won't come off? Uh, is your hair like dyed right now? Nothing? Just natural. Let's do it. He's so natural. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. He just wanted... He's like, dude... Everything about him is content, content, content. Yes. He's so good at his job. He's really good at what he does. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is why he's good at your job. Yeah. He knew crazy pinky duty would go crazy. Yeah, and it did. Like, we got a million likes on every video we did with yeah. his pink fucking hair. <laughs> it was like, okay, that's why I want to dye his hair pink, because it's for the friggin' brand. For the brand, and because it looks, it, it's funny. It's funny, it's hilarious. funny friends. <laughs> yeah, it's funny friends, hilarious. Um, So Josh dyed his hair pink, and then it was time to go film a reality show. Oh my God, guys, this reality show is going to be absolutely insane. I'm not biased at all. I was an observer most of the time. It's fucking awesome. It, okay, so when I like pitched the idea for the reality show, I had no idea that it would be this big or this crazy. And I remember when I first pitched it, they, they were like so on board and then like, three weeks before we were supposed to leave they were like we want to do it with a barstool cast and I like was I freaked out I was like yeah I don't want to do it anymore like I don't want to put my name on that like we're doing something totally different and of course everyone here at barstool was like kind of on the fence about that because they've never done it before so they're yeah. like what if it sucks like we can't control these people that we don't know they wanted to keep to what they know yeah and we had to go through so much casting and do all the shit and I was like guys I promise it will be great and after they were like this show wouldn't have been anything if we didn't do a cast like from out of out of Barstool yes. world. It was insane. We were in this huge mansion in LA. It was like the craziest, like 
so much drama, so much love, so much hate, so much funnies. Like, I'm so excited for it. Even the production of it all, like, it was very well thought out. It, was, team, it wasn't like it was thrown together. There was a 40-person production, maybe more. Oh, was it, it's like a, it's a show. Yeah. And the, the production team worked their asses off. They were so good. The producing was awesome. The cast. Yes. I was obviously spectacle. Um, I'm not spectacle. What am I thinking? Skeptical. Skeptical. So I was spectacle. You're having a spectacle. I, uh, they were a spectacle though, but I was skeptical about the cast because I was scared because I was like, if they suck, this is all on me because I yeah, freaking made things. them do this. And uh, they were just the most eccentric, crazy, like so many different types of people. And the cool thing is like you handpicked these people. Yeah. There were the thousands of applications. You had to go through them all. Of it was a whole process. Me, Tara, and Logan. So credit to us three for sticking through a lot of those brutal fucking interviews. I mean, I can only imagine, like, so many different people in this world. Yeah, and we thought we had, like, a final 10 so many times, and then we had to, we interviewed them, we were like, they suck, we have to go find new people. Like, we made sure we picked the best people possible for the show. And you totally did. They were great. They were fantastic. Every single one of them. Yeah, and it's coming out so soon. I know, the turnaround on it is fantastic because people don't have to wait that long we after we were done filming what did they have like 200 or how many hours of footage it oh was yeah insane. it was like like four days total of footage so like 48 times two it was friggin a li- the hours of footage <laughs> they have to go through an edit and the fact that they're turning it around that quick is wild it's just insane so um we can't say much about the show yet but yeah i don't want to ruin it it's awesome it's really great we had a lot of fun making it too. We had a lot of fun. It was me, you, and Josh just fucking around all the time. I know. It was, it was hilarious. Great. It was so crazy. It was like we were together for so long. Yeah. And we had to, it was like, it was fun. I've never worked that consecutively that long. Yeah. Like that must what it must be what it's like to like work on a movie set for like months. They just do that 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Yeah. It's, it's insane. It's, it's grueling. It is. It's like people say acting, people act is nothing. But that's like a long time to be on a set. It's dude, like a, a, and the crew, like I'm like, dude. I dude. know the people holding the cameras, dude. We, we worked long days, dude. and they're holding the camera handheld, and they're like shaking. Dude, Josh Gallo. Josh Gallo. His shoulders hurt so bad. Oh, dang, the cameras weigh 25 pounds. It's crazy, and it was like, it was cold. It was we had to do nighttime, but we were they had like they had to get in the pool. Like it was just, it was a lot. The house is sick. I'm really excited for that. I wish we could say more, but we can't. But that's kind of the fun of it. Yes. Uh, but it's going to come out in May. Yeah. But um, what else do we got? So that was, we filmed the reality show, which was fucking great. We crushed it. And Dorky and Duty were created on the ride home from one of those. Yes. Quick commercial break. This is an exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. So they crack the code on how to score deals on last minute tickets. Uh, I miss SZA in New York, but she's still on tour. I want to go find her and I want to use Game Time to go to it because I was talking about using Game Time to go to SZA in San Diego or New York, but we couldn't make it to either because we realized San Diego was five hours away from where we were. And all of you guys told me that you used game time to go to SZA and I was sad that I wasn't there to see you guys so hopefully I can make it to an upcoming concert uh the purchase process is so quick and easy once you buy your tickets they're delivered directly to your phone no printer needed the app also allows you to easily share tickets with your friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly which is kind of the best part so you can download the game time app or go to the website enter your code email uh and use the code plan brief for $20 off your first purchase terms apply make sure to check it out download the game time app now or go to the website enter your email and redeem code plan brief for $20 Twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms may apply. Let's get back to the show. So, running on absolutely zero sleep mm-hmm. because we're waking up at six six in the morning, getting our makeup done, going to bed at two. Mm-hmm. Um, dorky and Dudu came alive, and um, I'm Dorky, and I Dudu, and that's an obvious fact. So we were riding on a car home. <laughs> yes, and, uh, <laughs> we were running on no sleep, and we were talking about no. Wait. Oh, well, yes. You have to talk about this. Oh, is that what happened? Yes. Okay. Uh, Vanity Fair, right? Yes. Was before? I was going to say the Teen Vogue party. <laughs> uh, yeah, I keep calling it the Met Gala. <laughs> um, okay, so Josh asked me to come to the Vanity Fair party with him so we could, like, if there was interviews, like, promote the reality show. And I was like, oh, that is a freaking good idea. See, he's always thinking. Good at job. And he's always thinking. So we go to the thing. I'm terrified. I've never done any of these. I don't get invited to any of this shit. So I was he like. looks fucking gorgeous. This, thank you. The dress was fire. And our pink hair looked great together. You know what was really cool is um, Josh hired her a stylist. 
Yes. <laughs> really cool. Thank Well, thank God, because he asked me the day of to yeah, go. Yeah, no, I know. That was crazy. I was so stressed out. It was so crazy. She came in with a big cart of all these clothes, and I was like, these are all gorgeous, gorgeous clothes. You tried that first dress on? Nah, done. That was all it. Set, ready yeah. to go. I tried the rest on, but the first one was the best. We started yes. with the best. Um, So anyway, it was happened so fast, and then it was time to go, and uh, so I guess... I don't, it was a TikTok Vanity Fair party. So it was a mixture of like real celebrities and TikTokers, mm-hmm. which I didn't know. I thought it was I w- young Hollywood. It was young basically. Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. So I thought what I was just going to be a bunch of TikTokers, mm-hmm. which cool. Cause they were like, it was like the top tier TikTokers yeah. that I got to see that I never got to meet people that I love. Uh, oh Gia, I met Monet. Shut up. Yeah. Oh my God. For like one so, second. Was she really nice? Um, I didn't really talk to her, oh, but I God. said hi and I told her I, I feel her. like she's one of the influencers that are probably so nice when you meet them. Yeah. Mm. Um, I met friggin' Amelia. Oh, yes. Yeah. And oh, I t- chicken shop date? Yes. Oh, and I'm God. like s- fucking super big fan of her. And I was, she's tiny. And yeah. I had a platform, so I had platforms on. So it was a very big height difference. <laughs> I and I like, you're saying I have a platform. <laughs> I have a platform and I'm using it right now. Um, but I had, I'm already tall and I had fucking like eight inch platforms on. So I went to turn around from the bar and I like almost knocked her over and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so, oh my God, I love you. And <laughs> she was like, oh my God. And she knew BFFs and we started, talked about how she went on Sunday conversation mm-hmm. and she was just so fucking nice. She was giving me so much advice. I was like, you don't have to be this sweet. Oh, cool. Like she was by far the coolest person that I met there in my eyes just because I look up to her so much. Yeah. And she could totally have been an asshole. Yeah. She's totally not an asshole. She was so sweet. She, so beautiful. Would you say she's posh? She's posh. <laughs> and she had a British accent, and I have a very hard time not mimicking it. Oh, yeah, that's hard. Mm, very hard. <laughs> so that happened. I um, love you. I was like, I love you so much. Oh, you <laughs> fuck oh, You're so posh. <laughs> you're freaking so cute. I love you. I don't know. But she was just so nice and gave me so much advice. And I'm like, why are you being so nice? And then some more fans ran over and bombarded her. And I was like, damn it, I wanted to finish that conversation. But it was whatever. She would have finished it if she could. Um, but she was just nice to everyone. So that happened. Uh, I was feeling uncomfortable josh went to the bathroom at one point no don't leave me and i was like okay well i guess i have to figure it out so i was like let's go i'm just gonna go be crazy because where did you go crazy i went okay i got my little drink i didn't drink at this what were you drinking i didn't i just held a drink all night what were you holding what do you order at one of those parties josh was getting tequila sodas and i just said kept giving me one the things that i hate the most tequila sodas yeah so i was just holding it um i don't know i didn't I didn't feel like it was the right spot for me to drink because if I started drinking, I would drink too much and I didn't want to look silly. Because there's a lot of important people there. Very good. Um, but we took, <laughs> me and Josh took like five shots before we left. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So um, I wasn't drinking there because I was already a little tipsy from the shots. And I was just walking around with my drink and I walked down the little stairs because Josh went to the bathroom and I'm like, oh, you have to be a big girl. Mm-hmm. And who do I bump into? Fucking Juggly. Jack. Oh, yes. Jack Martin. So I bump into him and then we like start forming a circle of just people and Whenever we're with Juggly, it's just like, I feel like I have to do bits. Yeah. Like, I've never had a real conversation with him, I don't think. I don't think so either. It's and just bit after bit. It's after just bit, bit, bit. And I got into bit mode, and I was like, because I'm just like nobody here. Like, so this is fun. I could just kind of fuck with people, but not like fuck with them, but like, I don't know, this is funny. So everyone there, all they want to talk about is what do you do? Oh. So it's like, which was fine, because everyone's curious, like, what do you do? Because yeah. there's a lot of important people there. Oh, okay. It's not like a New York, what do you do? No, it was like, so what do you do? Oh, okay. Cool. Everyone was actually way too nice. And I was like, <laughs> this is so cool. Well, it's the East Coast versus the West Coast, man. I know. Well, it's almost like, it, are you fucking with me? That's why I was like, you don't have to be this nice to me. <laughs> why are you being so nice to me? But a lot of people knew who I was, which was blowing my mind. I was like, this is so cool. And I was freaking out and then i was saying to people because we don't really consume shit i feel yeah like we don't watch i don't know like our for you pages are like funny videos yeah, and stuff goofballs. and uh, i don't know i don't really watch a lot of the like it was like a uh, uh like the riverdale show type of stuff yeah, yeah. like that category i don't really tap into that too no. much so it's a lot okay. of those actors so like i knew their faces but i didn't know them but mm. they're famous like they're like a list celebrities yeah. but i didn't realize that so i'm talking to these people so what do you do mm. they're like i'm <laughs> Uh, I'm literally celebrity. famous. And I go, oh, yeah, I'm a TikToker. <laughs> I'm a podcaster. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, and I was like, I'm an idiot. Uh, it's to Topper from fucking, I just almost said Top Gun from uh, fucking. Southfield. <laughs> from Southfield. Yeah. What the fuck is Outer that Banks. show called? Outer Banks. I was like, so what do you do? <laughs> oh, and then I realized it was Topper. And he had a freaking leather jacket on and he looked like he should have been a Top Gun. And he was like, oh, I'm just like an actor. I was like, okay, I'm a TikToker. <laughs> I make silly videos. Uh, but um, all these, all the TikTok reps and like people kept coming up to me being like, 
thank you for getting Josh to stay. He usually just does the red carpet and leave. I'm like, Josh, come on. And he was having a blast. I'm like, you freaking need me, man. We are great together. You need to have some fun. Um, But yeah, it was super fun. And then we left and went to some girl's birthday party where you tried to meet us. Yeah. So I was on standby the whole time waiting for you guys to come out. I said it it on the Jack Martin episode, but... I was also I was also at home refreshing Getty images, waiting to see what you guys look like on the red carpet. I was so excited. I was so scared to see. And those. they were fucking awesome. Yeah, they were great, but they were edited. I don't understand that. That's that's one thing I don't understand is these Getty images. They it's looked like, edited though, right? I guess so. Josh Gallo explained it to me. He was like, they put like they must have. So it goes from the camera to a computer. Somebody's in like a van outside getting them online from okay. a computer. I suppose that's what he thinks. And then um, on that computer, they have like an. A universal, just like a preset, like a preset, and like they just put it out. Cool, and that's fascinating to me. Yeah, I don't know why, but yeah. like how fast they can get those pictures out. Like as soon as you were done with the red carpet, it was there. Yes, yeah, so, so cool. crazy. But um, I got an Uber over to the party. My Uber driver was a crazy maniac. She pulled over fourteen times. Oh my gosh, she, she was, was really nuts. She had a very sad story to tell, and I didn't know what to say. All I wanted to say was, "Can we please not pull over again? <laughs> please, I'm running so late." And so um, I'm outside of that party, and some lady comes up to me. Like I said on the other one, she comes up to me. She's like, "Hey guys, good to see you. You just can't come in." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay." And then who's behind me? Jack Martin, he's everywhere. Oh my he's god, everywhere, in everywhere, LA. everywhere. And he goes, "Damn, that's tough." <laughs> and I go, "Oh well, you know, uh, I was just at home refreshing, getting images." He's like, "That's weird." And I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'd wear my friends." <laughs> okay, so me and Josh were meeting someone there, and they were waiting outside for us because we also weren't going to be allowed in. But yeah. the person we were meeting has very big pull everywhere. <laughs> so that person was like, "Nah, they're with me." And we're like, "Okay, <laughs> it's someone's birthday party, so like they have a." It, the person's birthday party has a list of who can and cannot come in, which makes sense. Like Totally fair. Someone's birthday party. I didn't realize Obviously, that. you're not going to be allowed in. Obviously, we shouldn't have been allowed in, but we were with the big dog. So <laughs> we were like, okay, cool. <laughs> but I'm in my gown. It's someone's birthday party, and it's sponsored by like Fashion Nova. So everyone has like these cool like streetwear fits on. I'm in my ball gown on my platforms. I, and you know, when would you ever be embarrassed to be in a ball gown, you know? I know. It was embarrassing. <laughs> it was very embarrassing. Uh, and we get in there, and... I'm like, oh my God, there were so many rappers there. That's it was crazy. like, it was so intimidating. It was a uh, fucking I th- Gunna, I think, or one of the Migos. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember because I, I, uh, I couldn't see their face, but they kept saying, that's one of the Migos. I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> QCP, no, that's not his name. My, my homophobic, my bitch is gay. Oh yes, everyone loves him. <sighs> he was there. Central C. Yes. Central yes. C. He's freaking hot. Really? His security guard doesn't let anyone near him, though. Uh. So it was moron. Me and Josh looking like morons with <laughs> our was fucking... Moron. It was pinky doo-doos <laughs> and morons just sitting there saying, we've got to get out of here. <laughs> and that you pulled up right when we it were about to leave. perfect timing. Yeah. Yeah. So we were only in there for like five minutes, and then we left, met Grace, and then we went to a freaking mansion. Well, while I was outside, I literally saw David Dobrik, and I was like, that's David Dobrik. I was with him in there. That was cool. He's so nice. <laughs> Is he? He comes up to us and he's like, yeah, we're going to leave here because we just didn't fit in. Like yeah. everyone was like super famous and cool and they were all friends and mm-hmm. we were at someone's birthday party that we didn't know. Okay. And he was like, we're going to leave. Feel free to come with us. You guys are totally welcome. Like, what the hell? Why didn't we go? He is so nice. Uh, I don't know because the person we were with didn't want to go. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. That's the big dog. That's the big dog. <laughs> so, um... Uh, which was fine. We needed to wake up in the morning and go do the reality show. Oh, yeah, that's right. The final, the finale of the reality yes. show, the longest day of filming yes. we had to go do. <laughs> so we we left and, um, yeah, it was a pretty brutal day. Yeah. The next day. The next day? Oh. The reality show. Oh, no. I woke up friggin' slap happy. So friggin' slap happy because I got oh. literally not even a joke, two hours of sleep for real. And I was just gung ho, like yeah. We, we all we we both were, but then we crashed. And we crashed so hard. Yeah, we were screaming and happy and fun, and we were having a lot of laughs. And Dorky and Dudu really came out to play that day. Yeah, and then we got mad. Mm-hmm. That last episode is insane. It's infuriating. <sighs> oh, I can't wait to see it. Me too. Oh, you guys are gonna watch us crumble. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna watch a lot of people crumble. Yeah, it's a. I'm just we a host, even, and I feel like I'm fucking, yeah. We weren't even the, con- con- the contestants, but we felt like we were p- part of it all. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, well, we were, but it was just like, oh, my God, people were mad at us. We're like, it's not, it, this is your game. Yeah. Oh, it was crazy. But, uh, yeah, that night was super weird and fun and cool, and then we finished the reality show, and uh, it was time for the rap party. 
Yes, yeah. Which we said we were going to save for one drink. Mm -hmm. As we do. And we were the last people to leave. Because I was literally on two hours of sleep. I was like, oh, yeah, I got to only get one drink. Okay. Uh (laughs) And we did karaoke for hours. And there's a guy named Don. Don is a regular at the bar we were at. And karaoke's kind of his thing. And he doesn't want anyone to steal his song. And Grace stole his song. I did not know that it was Don's song. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, Don. I wrote down your worst enemy to be announced as because I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. I was so drunk because I was so tired. I think I had four drinks and yeah. I was so drunk. And Yeah, you blacked out. I blacked out. And I wrote your worst enemy. So when he announces it, it's like, your worst enemy up here, just saying. <laughs> and I was like, that's me. And then I sang... Um, the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. And, and you, you didn't know any of the words. Nah. And you kept having to turn around. It was so funny. And I tried to bring the microphone down, but I think I fell over. <laughs> yeah. Um, every And then I, I wrote down Dorky and Doodoo to sing a song. And they didn't fucking have it. And the guy like was so excited <laughs> to meet Dorky and Doodoo. He says, Dorky and Doodoo, I'm so excited. Who is this? <laughs> he was like, this us. And we got up there and he's like, we don't have your song. I'm like, so. oh. Uh, what did we sing? We sang Jordan Sparks. We sang a lot. That was a long, it was like the rap party. It was fun. We were all excited that the show was over. Kind of sad. And then we had to wake up and switch hotels again. For the third time. Mm-hmm. With our, we had so many suitcases, guys. Traveling with so many suitcases is like literally the friggin' worst. Especially in the torrential downpouring rain, trying to take them to your car. Every day, bro. We were soaking wet. We were so bad. We were so bad. But um, then we, we went to our new hotel and what the hell did we do? Um, nothing. We chilled and we went to Disney. Oh, we went to Disney. We went to Disney. We went to Disney and Disney was both fun and crazy. <laughs> it was friggin' awesome, but it was friggin' insane. It was friggin' insane. We decided at two o'clock that day to go to Disney. <laughs> yeah. And we, we fucking, we just thought it was going to be the best day of our lives. Like, cause we forgot you have to wait in line. Yeah. And it was also like really bad weather. So we were like, oh, no one's going to be there. But it was Saturday on spring break. We totally messed up on that part. It was the busiest probably of the year. On our way there, we were like, let's, we couldn't stop smiling. We were all giddy. We're listening in a friggin' Disney theme songs. Disney theme yeah. songs. We're stoked. And then we get there. I'm like, whoa, these lines are ridiculous. <laughs> Two and a half hour wait for every ride. You got to be yeah crazy and then we kept saying like who do we gotta pay yeah who do we gotta pay to get in one of these lines i know <laughs> i was literally like oh, okay we'll budget and we'll just go to the front and say listen to the person in the front we'll give you this amount of money because it was like we got there late so we're like we're not gonna be able to ride any rides like if we waited two and a half hours for each ride we weren't gonna be able to do it we ended up riding every single ride oh yeah here's the life hack you go to disney at 10 o'clock and you'll ride all the rides in one hour yeah we didn't like seriously. We were there for three hours and we didn't ride one thing yet. No, it because was we kept, very we kept sad. going. We kept going to the lines and being like, "Ah, oh, two hours we can't do it." <laughs> so we'd go find another ride. Ah, oh, two hours we can't do it. Yeah, we had popcorn churros. We had matching shirts on. We had our freaking <laughs> uh, ears on. We're walking around seeing. Uh, Not to mention, we did mushrooms. <laughs> it was scary. It was. We thought it was gonna be literally lit. We we're gonna go ride for ride on the mushrooms. Go crazy, and mushrooms waiting in line for two and a half hours is kind of bizarre. Yeah, and they have um. A lot of scary undertones on those rides. Yes. Oh, my God. So the first ride we did, we we decided <laughs> if we go single passenger, we'll get to the ride faster. You don't have to wait in line. You, you don't just, have to wait in line. You just ride it alone, which is weird. Weird because guess what? We're on mushrooms. That's when they started to really hit. And it was Space Galactica. <laughs> and we had very different rides that we went on. So... We go up and they're like, all right, you come on. I'm like, just like that? Easy as that? That's crazy. <laughs> so easy. And um, I went in with a family. The family has been dying to go on this ride. They've been on it a few times. Mm-hmm. And boy, do they know how to ride this thing. So you're in a thing. And it was crazy. I was tripping balls. I literally felt like I was in a spaceship. And it was sick. The ride was sick. It was so sick. And, but you have all these things you have to press, like Mission Impossible mm-hmm. and um, the, the other one, the... the the other one in this Florida, mm-hmm. a spaceship one. Go for okay, it. Okay, yes. But um, what I was so crazy, like in on just watching it, and the girl next to me was like, "You gotta move the lever," and I'm like, "I don't know which one's the lever." <sighs> and she goes over it and she she pulls it for me, and I'm like, "Oh, I fucked up, man." Yeah. And then I just kept pretending to ride it, and at the end of it, they give you your score on how you did, and we got a seventeen percent. And uh, the girl goes, she just looked at me, and I was like, 
I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. This isn't really my mojo. And I'm literally on drugs. Yeah. And mine was quite different. So I went in with this family. They didn't speak any English. So there was a very big language barrier. And they were like, when we were getting on to the the flight simulator, the guy was like trying to explain it. And he was like, have you ever fl- flown before? And they all started giving them their phone, his their phones. That stinks. And he was like, "No, it's fine, it's fine, it's gonna be great." And then they started tell, like, started trying to explain that, like, we have to press all these buttons and whatever. They also were like, "This is a big ride for us." So we get on the ride. Mushrooms were also hitting. I was sitting there. I'm like. I couldn't stop thinking about how hilarious this scenario was that oh my God. me and Grace are both on separate fighter ships doing this war zone and we're on drugs and I With was, different families. I was in the back of this thing like supposed to be taking care of the team and I'm just hysterically cracking up. <laughs> I look like a creep. I'm just like literally like ah! I was crying laughing. My phone flies out of my pocket, flies to the front of the ship. They're all like what the fuck? Like this is like what is that? And and, but they're also not saying anything because we can't, we have a language barrier. So I'm like, oh, my phone, can you please pass me my phone? And they're like, what? Press the buttons, like doing all this. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know, man. It was so crazy. Then we walk out. I'm like, that was the funniest thing we've that ever done. It was so funny. We we both walked out and we were like, what the hell? Oh, we looked at each other. We'll never do it. We're waiting in line. We're, we're never in line doing, together. We're never doing single rider again. <laughs> and then we made it to uh, Pokey, Pocahontas. Oh, Pinocchio. Yes. Pinocchio is the scariest ride I've ever been on. I was like, actually, I was like scared. I didn't know what they were trying to tell. I it was so scary. The storyline there is ridiculous and it's not for kids. And I don't know why every ride has to be scary. Yeah, it was scary. I mean, like, I guess every movie, every Disney movie has like these sad, scary times. <laughs> and, but you don't have but to make the whole ride out of it. happy. There was no ending that there was, was happy. There was no plot. It was just scary. It was just it like, was a, ah! It was a it was a haunted hayride. It was, yeah, it was. Oh, it was like the haunted mansion, but glow sticks. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. So that was us basically riding, rocking around, waiting in lines, being scared for a long time. Then mm-hmm. we hopped over to the California Adventure Park. Yes, and well, that, we did Finding Nemo, and yeah. that's when we realized everybody at Disney is pretty ugly. Yeah. But that's besides the point. Yeah. And then we left <laughs> and we went to Adventure Theme Park and we rode a bunch of rides. It was awesome. And we went to a water show. Yes. We went to a water show and they escorted us to the front row. And we thought it was raining out. Mm-hmm. We were in the splash zone. I'm not <laughs> kidding. We, I had to wring my pigtails out. My jeans were soaking wet. We just kept looking at each other saying, oh, I can't believe we didn't shut the park down. It's raining so much, Dorky. It's raining like, so much. I'm like, dude, I'm soaking wet, dude. <laughs> like I said, look, my hair, I'm wringing it out. It's so wet. It's raining so hard. And then we, the water show ends. And we're like, ah, oh, perfect timing for the rain to stop. <laughs> and then we look at the fucking sign in front of us and it's splash zone. Splash zone. Warning. <laughs> we're soaking wet. <laughs> it's 1030 at this point. Yes. Disney closes at midnight. Mm-hmm. We hit every single ride I'm soaking wet. Back to back to back. And we, oh, that's when Dorky and Dudu couldn't stop. Oh, we, we couldn't got, Come stop. on, Dudu. Let's go on the next ride. Come on. We'll get the next one. <laughs> it was crazy. We're sprinting around Disney saying, hold the ride, hold the ride. <laughs> we were the last people in the park. We were the last people to ride uh, the haunted mansion the haunted ride. mansion. And we were like, please wait up. Please uh, wait up. Uh, yeah, it was, they were like, okay, stop. We will. You're the last ones. They Be- said, stop running. <laughs> yeah. We're like, okay, we're coming. We rode Every ride back to back at the end, it was awesome. It was Giggle Fest Central because we were just freaking losing our minds because of the ups and downs of the fun roller coasters. Yeah, well, we also had to stay until the end because we had to drive home. And I was like, I, I was driving. I was like, we have to stay until the shrooms are gone. Yeah. So we the last shrooms we took was at like five. And then we didn't leave until one in yeah. the morning. And I was like, okay, if we can finally leave. I'm fine. I'm just going to fall asleep. Now. Yeah. <laughs> but when we got on the highway, there was like a, there was like a drag race with... It was like a Mustang meetup, and they all surrounded us on the highway, and they like all put their uh, hazards on and like stopped in the middle of the highway, and we thought we were about to get kidnapped and murdered. I think they were filming Fast and Furious. It was so scary. It was crazy. And we were like, oh my God, what the fuck? And then all these other cars kept pulling up and like flashing their lights at us, and we were like, okay, our lights must be off. And they weren't. And then we were like, oh, maybe we're driving too slow or too fast, and then we're going exactly the speed limit. Yeah. And then we were like, oh. 
flat tire. We were convinced we had flat tires. We were completely convinced, and we get out at the end of it, and we're like, no flat tire. What was that all about? We had three cars flash their lights at us and speed and up swap, next to us. And stop and point and roll their window down and laugh. And ha, 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 It was fucking, it was, as, it was as scary as the Pinocchio ride. It was Terrio. <laughs> it was little Terrio, to be honest. <laughs> it was fucking Terrio. That was fucking scary. But that then was wild. We got back, and then we, we left the next day, right? Yeah. It was well, time. Oh, oh, I, okay. We, well, we, you did Trevor Wallace's podcast. Yeah. I went to a thrift shop. We had separate days and then we got back together. And, um, what did we do? Uh, we had like dinner or whatever. There was some music at our hotel. Brianna went back to go pack her bags and oh, I yes. went to the comedy store. The comedy store was right across the street. I'm like, I got to go to the comedy store while I'm here. I love comedy. And I decided to go alone. And I bought tickets to a show called the Ding Dong Show, and the Ding Dong Show was not stand up. It was it was exactly what it sounds like. It was um, borderline disturbing, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I was really freaked out. But when I got in there, some lady greeted me. This fucking lady. She came and greeted me. She goes. Grace, it's so good to see you. I'm like, fuck, do I know you? And she's like, I know all about you. Come here, come sit. And she made me sit in this special seat with a light on, mm-hmm. like underneath me. And she announced to the whole Ding Dong show that her friend Grace was here and everyone, please say hi. And I'm sitting there and the show starts and I'm like, I need to leave. But I was I was fully announced here that I need to sneak need out. To stay so now. I literally like, I grab my purse and I'm like sneaking out and I'm trying to find the bathroom. And if anyone asked, I was going to the bathroom. Oh, okay. But the way the comedy store works is like you can go through different rooms to get to another room. So I was like, okay. And then I went and I paid for a stand-up show. Mm-hmm. And I sat through that. And at the end of that show, there was this guy. He's just, he's known for being there. He's disgustingly disturbing. And he, I, I wanted to leave so bad. Oh, Plus the I had sex a joke guy? Sex joke guy. He was really gross telling, telling the the freaking people in the audience that the dad should fuck the daughter and like all this gross it was fucking gross dude oh. it was me and this other girl in the audience just looking at each other saying like what is going on here what and he, he noticed her and was like you're a bitch you don't like this you're a bitch anytime anyone left he shat he shat on them he just completely shat on them so i was like i'm not getting up i'm I, I, I'm too scared to get shat on right now because I'm literally alone. That's weird. And if I get up, I can't handle getting shat on. No, I could not handle getting shat on either. I would have stayed too. And there's these two girls next to me and there I could hear them talking about me. They're like, she hates this. She's a fucking loser. Like, I'm like, dude, I fuck you. And so the people that probably see the ding dong show and that show, like they're just bad people. Yeah. Or they just like, if they, they got, like, they got some jokes. whack ass humor, man. Yeah. So, I finally muster up the courage to leave and the friggin' lady from the Ding Dong show was there and she goes, Grace, where are you going? I'll walk you out. I'm like, no. And then she walks me out and she's like, you know, I fucked with Dave once. I told him, I told him he has too much spray tan. And I'm like, okay, cool. And she, she was all whacked out, man. She just, there's she's something a, up with her. She's a, like, I know her. She has assaulted me verbally. She's assaulted Dave verbally at the BFFs live show. She's a mean crazy person she's a mean crazy person like the live show was cra- she's crazy so that's how she, that's how she explained she knew dave is because she was stalking him the whole time she was there but she's yeah. like i wasn't stalking him i live here but she was literally she came to the live show she <laughs> saw him at starbucks like she's like whatever and she well what did she say like she was what was she? What was she doing at that live show? Because she's so abrasively insane. She was there, and then the audience had to ask questions, and she like took the mic away, asked some crazy questions about Dave. I don't even remember something like "I'm gonna murder you." Like she literally just took the mic, was like "I'm gonna murder you." But then after she like waited, because after the it was in a parking lot, the mm-hmm. Saddle Ranch parking lot. So after the live show, like we would go behind the stage and like we would just go talk to everyone that went to the show. Yeah. And she waited around. Came up, said some crazy shit to me. She called me like uh, a tranny. I know that you're not supposed to use that word, but she called me that. That's and what she said. Yeah, she said it. She's like, "You're a tranny." Like, but then she would like try to like be nice about That's it. That's the thing about this crazy bitch. She would say like these 
horrible mean things to like make you feel so bad about yourself and then be like but i'm just saying it because i can like, yes you could change this about yourself brianna and like dave like this and that and you that. sound just like her that's what she sounds like yeah she is not she's not dorky and doo-doo she's a ding dong she's a ding dong and she's <sighs> literally part of the ding dong show yeah her whole life is a ding dong show so she walks me out she's she's crazy i don't know this about her yet i i remember hearing about like a crazy person at that yeah. live show but i didn't know the extent of it she was crazy and she pulls me outside and she's like, she's talking to me saying, I really like your stuff, but you live in Brianna's shadow. Like, basically, you're a piece of shit and you need to grow the fuck up and grow some balls. And I'm like, what the fuck are you what talking does that about? Even mean? Like, what are you talking about? And she's saying that. And I'm like, dude, what? And then she goes and fucking she goes and fucking lift, lift your chin up. I hate seeing it online. You fucking double chin. I see it all the time. It's so ridiculous. That's where I would have punched her in the face. Dude. So I'm like, <clears throat> I'm going home. And then she wouldn't let me go home. She's like, she's like grabbing me, like, talk, like making me stay, like whatever. And she just keeps talking. She's saying all this bullshit, telling me how she fucked with How'd Dave. How did you not say, get the fuck dude. off of me? I'm leaving. And like, then the second time she, she said it, she goes, I'm not kidding around. Lift that chin up right now while you're talking to me. And I go, I'm literally going to punch you in the face right now. I'm going to leave. But and she, she want you to talk like this. Like, uh, clearly, I can't help it. You that cunt. Is you cunt. That's, a, that's a crazy thing to think you can say to someone. Mm. Ever. Ever. I can't fix it. It doesn't, like, that's just crazy. Like, and then look at her. She was looked like she was straight off of Jersey Shore 2012. Oh, and rolled in the mud. Yeah, it was, she's this freaking mean human being. But then I, I, I left and she followed me to the hotel. Mm -hmm. And she was just out of her fucking mind. I'm like, I'm leaving. I had to hug her goodbye, even though I hated her so much, so that she, she would understand her. the fact that it was time to leave. <laughs> I was like, goodbye. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hated that woman so much. And then I ran into Brianna's room, and I'm like, you won't believe what just happened. And, and I was like, yeah, well, this is a crazy lady. And I was like, oh, okay, makes sense. I don't feel as crazy because she, I thought I was must, making her up. No, she must berate every single person that she comes in contact with. Because she's just a mean lady. She, like, every time someone leaves a conversation with her they must feel how we felt just completely and utterly belittled and and t awful about themselves yeah i mean sh and she says it with love oh fucking cunt i hated that cunt yeah that was crazy <sighs> so that happened so and that happened and then it was time to go and then we had to leave go straight to spring break yeah all right guys quick commercial break this is actually sick because every time i wear aviators you know when you put them up on your head and they get so tangled in your hair and then you rip all your hair out and always you want to put your sunglasses up to push your hair back a little it's like a it's like a little headband it's like a look we have the perfect aviators for you so if you love avi aviators but hate how your hair always gets tangled in them shady rays has the new tangle free aviators so now you can get the classic aviator look without the messy hair because of their custom patent pending nose piece that they designed specifically to avoid tangling so you can have the same classic aviator and be able to put them on your head with no problem look at that they have they don't have like that nose piece it's custom so that it doesn't get tangled in your hair these frames are seriously lightweight and also feel very high end they're super cute also those lenses are super cool i'm gonna steal those from you we love the shine on the frame the bright lenses and they have it all going for them so shady rays tangle free aviators are one of their hottest sunglasses right now and they have already sold out multiple times so they're back in stock now including the free calamessit rose gold frames which is what grace is wearing plus shady rays offers the most insane protection in all of eyewear so every pair of sunglasses is backed by lost and broken replacements which is awesome how many times do we lose your fucking sunglasses so many if you break it if you lose it even on day one they'll send you a brand new pair no questions asked that's pretty crazy so all protection program details can be found at shadyrays.com uh you can exclusively for our listeners shady rays is giving out their best deal of the season head to shadyrays.com slash tangle free and use code planbree for 30 percent off their best-selling tangle free aviators and much more save before they sell out and try for yourself their shades rated five stars from over 250,000 people that's almost as many people as uh that buy tarot world well, only fans so make sure to check that out so we went to fort lauderdale mm -hmm. and it was freaking awesome freaking awesome we had a delightful day yeah it, it was, was fun. A, delightful is probably not the word it was um banger it was banger <laughs> it was banger it was banger everyone went absolutely crazy it was so fun to see um and i just cum guzzled pirate water the whole time oh the whole entire time it was awesome it was so fun we had like a a pool at our place so we would go and like drink at our pool after the events mm -hmm. and that's when tommy kelly jr came to play Tommy Kelly Jr. So we were hammered in the pool. Hammered. I personally so it was because it was after our pirate water party, mm -hmm. and we were so we didn't sleep the night before or something. Oh, we were hungover. We went out to dinner. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we went to the Pirate Water Party. It was a friggin' blast. We had yeah. so much fun. Everyone in Fort Lauderdale was always awesome. Spring Break's crazy. Yes. Pirate Water threw a hell of a party. Hell yes. Um, And then we went to our pool after and we were hammered. Yes. And um, we're in our pool and we're make- I made 13,000 TikTok videos. I just kept posting them like it was my uh, my private story God-given on Snapchat. Right. My God-given right. And we're in there and, and I fucking... I, wait, did you, did you hear what... um? Danny, our security guy, said that I said in the pool. No. So Tommy Kelly Jr. comes out. He says, this is my pool, blah, blah, blah. I, I, well, how would you say Tommy Kelly Jr. came out? He was on the phone and came over and pointed at me and said, this is my pool, Brianna Chicken Fry. I'm on the phone with my sister. Nah, you could stay, but this is my pool. <laughs> and he had no shirt on, tight jeans on. His hair was tight like my... He's in um, one of your YouTube situation. videos. I mean, yes. your He's in one TikToks. of my YouTube videos. <laughs> and um, I guess this is what Danny said. This is what I said to him. He goes, he goes, again, this is my pool. And I go, well, Tommy Kelly Jr., I just pissed in your pool. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm peeing right now. <laughs> that was crazy. It and we was just, nuts. We were running around that pool like crazy. That's when we convinced the guy we were doctors. Oh, yes. Yeah. I was insane. He said, you guys on spring break? We'll say, yeah, from med school, though. We said, this is our seventh year because we're this we're in our eighth year of residency and we're going to be working at Mass General Hospital. And like, we're really just, this is our only time to go crazy. And like, it's just like, really hard being a doctor. Yeah, kept I, saying, I love the doctor. you. Yeah, he was like, wow. I was like, how stand. do you believe this? I have pink hair and hand tattoos. I Clearly, I'm not allowed to be a doctor. <laughs> but he really bought it. Oh, or did he? You could be the coolest doctor ever. I don't think they would allow me, but that would be cool. Well, it would be cool. I wonder if there's there's rules against um, hair treatment <laughs> in the doctor's office. It must be, right? I don't know. But we kept it going all day that day. All day. So we started very early at the pool party, and then after we went to our pool, Tommy Kelly Jr., we made a bunch of friends at the pool, doing a bunch of crazy stuff, made a million TikToks, then we went to dinner, had a bunch of fun, then we stayed, and we had to finish the rest of the shrooms we got. Oh, we had to finish those shrooms. And boy, did we. That was crazy. We were talking to trees. Mm-hmm. We were talking to trees. We met the Murdoch family. The Murdoughs. <laughs> okay, so we met this awesome family. They yeah, were, they were awesome. They, they were... weren't the Murdoughs, but they were just redheaded family. It was a big redheaded family. Like, they all had red hair. And they... They were from Boston. Yeah, we were chatting with them forever. This was before we took shrooms. And then yeah. they went out. We stayed out. There was, like, this back patio thing that we were chilling on and then our shrooms hit and they went back into their room but they like all packed into this one room and we're like what's going on and we could have sworn we kept hearing screaming coming yeah. from the room so we know and then the kids kept leaving and coming back and we in our heads were like this is the murders this is the murder something bad is going on. i mean so we were making all these scenarios in our head being like well granny's staying up there <laughs> they're killing someone up they there they gonna kill the granny we gotta turn around like we were so scared we're like we are witnessing murder yeah it was freaking hilarious i mean that's shrimps for you and then we started talking to the trees the trees were good guys they were great guys they were really nice you really guys. become one with the earth yeah yeah it was crazy they literally oh, oh yes the, yeah. and then there was motherfuckers throwing oranges from the other hotel from fucking the 11th floor and boy that would have hurt you would have really maybe had to go to the hospital. Yeah. They threw a full orange from like the 11th floor from another balcony onto the ground and it splattered. It sounded like glass. It did. And we were all freaking out. Like if that hit us, we would have died. We were with our friend Brianna. Yeah. And she was like, no way. No that, way. That that's is, not they're happening. They're not getting away with that. <laughs> and we like, think she called the security and we were trying to like, that's it, just like, you can't do that. That's it, fucked up. That is, if you could really hurt somebody, you I can't do that. I put on my story. Whoever fucking threw that orange, I swear to God, I'm going to fucking kill you and get you. Like, something so stupid, and I circled their room. <laughs> we circled ten rooms. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was insane. So we freaked out about that. Then we were like, someone's going to get about us. That. I forgot about that, too. That was a big deal. And um, then um, this lucky duck was outside uh, talking to somebody on the phone for hours, and we were absolutely in a different dimension at that point. Yeah. And then his buddy um, came over, and he was like, what are you guys doing? You guys want to chill? And we're like, we cannot chill. We we're cannot like, chill at all. I just obviously said, oh, we're on shrooms. Please, please. They're telling, to telling all this stuff. They're like, whoa, that's crazy. And then they wanted to get into all that. And I was like, dude, I'm seeing stats. Like, I can't. And then he was like, well, what's cool? Like, to, I'm trying to think for you guys. What's cool to look at when you're on shrooms? Trees. And we're like, yeah, we're talking to them already. And we're like, yeah, they're great guys. Okay. <laughs> and then they were like, okay, you guys are walk freaks. <laughs> and I just, I've never been so uncomfortable like I never wanted to be looked at or perceived in that moment and I felt like we were supposed to have our invisible cloaks on and they weren't working yeah they totally weren't working because then the security guy came out oh god and he was looking at us from the second balcony he he went he was circling us like a shark yeah and we and we were both like holding our own (laughs) selves saying like 
dude, if you just don't look, it'll be okay. Like, just tell us to leave. I know. <laughs> he was circling around, and he was on the second floor. And by the time he was on the second floor, he was just staring directly at us. Like, I'm looking at you right now. And it was fucking horrible. Yeah, Grace was the captain. And I kept saying, I was saying, Captain, what? Because she could only see him. I was like, Captain, what's going on? She was like, no, it's fine. Just don't look. Don't look. And I'm like, Captain, come on. Give me something. She's like, just don't look. So then I look up. I'm like, Captain, we got to go, man. Gotta, He's yeah. pointing and staring at us. Yeah. So we got up. It was so awkward because he's just watching us the whole time. And we're like that close. Like he can hear us talking. I know. And we're, we were, I'm pretty sure we were talking loud. Yeah, we were saying, this guy's crazy. What the fuck, man? We must have looked so crazy. Insane, man. He was probably just doing his job. Yeah, obviously. And then us idiots. And But then we went, couldn't sleep, and we had to get on a, fl- a plane to Boston. Bell. We got like $800 worth of Taco Bell and just hold, held it. Yeah, couldn't eat it. Uh, and then we went to Boston and it was pirate water time. Yeah. That was a blast. That was a blast. That that's just I'm just thinking about like those flights and how hungover and weirded out I was. That was my first flight in a while that I had to go alone. And I I wasn't loving it because I literally my brain broke that that night and I was I was like everyone thinks I'm crazy. I'm I'm I had the hot sweats. <laughs> I was literally like just sitting there like, when are we gonna get on this plane? It was I felt gross. I didn't like that feeling. And then uh, traveling hungover is just the worst thing in the, the world. The worst thing ever, man. Especially on a flight, you're all, you're all talk- well, I am. I'm, I'm tucked in the back like this. Like Flights are just, I, I'm so sick of fucking flying. I feel like we live on a plane. I know. But now we're back. We're back. But we weren't back yet. We went straight to Boston. Yes, we went to Boston. And we were in the freaking parade. We had a pirate water fucking float. It was sick. It was so sick. It was so cool. Boston, you're awesome. It was so fun. It was, uh, I mean, it was unreal. Like, everybody showing out. They had pirate water ready to go, throwing it at us. Mm-hmm. And, like, from Brianna's on one side, I'm on the other. And both sides are screaming. It was, it was, so it was fun. just so electric, man. It was so fun. And it was so cool um, seeing people that we knew in the crowd. I'm like, I what's know. up, dude? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. It's so, I love go- I love going home, like seeing our friends and our family. It was so awesome. It was you so awesome. You brought your mom on the float. Yeah. I brought my cousins and my sister. It was so fun. It was I love so awesome. Frig- it's like, no better feeling than going home. I know. And whenever I go home, I'm like, oh, I miss these people so friggin' much. I know. It sucks because I wish that we could just take everyone and reroute their lives in New York. I know. I just miss my friends and family so much, man. I do. It's tough. It's a tough feeling. It's always bittersweet going home. I know because like we get to hang out with them and we have so much fun and laughs and then it's time it's to go. It's the best fun and laughs. It's so good seeing them and then it's like, oh, I don't want to leave, but we friggin' have to. I know. Yeah, so that that was awesome though. And Pirate Water Float was awesome. It was so crazy in the crowd. Like everyone was already drinking Pirate Water. I know. It was so cool to see. Everyone loves it. Um, the parade was awesome. And then it was electric. And then we went um, we went to the Broadway after. That was fun. That was fun. And um, you almost get kicked out. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> so we went downstairs, and um, there was no line for the men's room. This was we were on the float for four hours. Oh yeah, chugging. I had haven't peed. Everyone else got off and peed. I stayed on because I was like, I can't disappoint these people. Want to see me? I'm not getting off the float. Real so, quick, not gonna lie, got off that float. Went in someone's backyard, pissed. He starts yelling at me. I go, dude, what the fuck? My mom goes, hide your face. Oh, you're, you're God. Like you're, you're like, you're an idiot. Will you stop yelling at this kid? You're literally pissing in his backyard with your ass out. Jesus, you were yelling at ass him? Ass and pussy. I'm like, dude, what? It's piss. It's St. Patty's Day. Everyone pisses in people's backyards on St. Patty's Day in Southie. Damn. I know. That's a tough look. I gotta say sorry to that guy. I don't know where. where say he's... sorry right now. I'm so slightly sorry because <laughs> i mean i had to go <laughs> yeah so i held it until we went to the fucking bar and we went downstairs there's no line for the men's room huge line for the fucking girls room i'm like okay i'll just go in the men's room like everyone always just goes in the men's room do it at pass games all the time some lady came in was like please get out and i was like dude please can i just go there's literally no one in here i'm literally need to pee so bad and she starts screaming at me I'm like all right i'll just go to the fucking girls room you in bathrooms man i know so i I'd go to the i was like okay fine i'll just go all right i tried i failed and i go i go to get in line for the girls room and some of uh podcast listeners were in the front of the line they're like oh it's fine you can just come up here like we've we've been here for hours you need to pee go ahead i was like cool all right thank you so freaking much guys and i go to the front and then the lady runs upstairs and gets all the security and tries to kick me out and I'm like all right guys just let me pee then you can kick me out (laughs) and I pee and then we go upstairs and all the people that were trying to kick me out were like never mind we'll be your security I'm like that's crazy that was the crazy switch up I was like okay that was a freaking love story man and Josh Gell 
Angela comes up comes upstairs and goes, dude, you got to go get Brianna. She's totally going to get kicked out. She might get arrested. So I go downstairs. I'm like, what's the problem? You're like, there is no problem. Anymore. Yeah, everyone in the bathroom <laughs> the was like. problem has been resolved. <laughs> all, everyone in the bathroom was like, all right, stop screaming. She was just in the men's room. Like, just let her go to the bathroom. And I'm like, yeah, literally, you can kick me out. I just need to pee or I'm going to pee my freaking pants, man. And they were waiting for me. And I'm like, all right, let's kick me out. Let's go. I'm, I want to go to bed anyway. And then they were like, nah, we got you. I'm like, what? <laughs> the fuck, man? This is weird. Um, but it was fun. And then we... You have to leave at 7.30. That's the crazy thing about that parade. It's They know troubles are brewing. So the bars close at 7.30. That's the plan. Yeah, it, they should close earlier. Yeah. People start drinking at 7 a.m. in Boston. It's I know. It's insane. It's really crazy. You already have a full... This is what KFC Radio was saying. Like, you already have a full night of drinking by 11 a.m. I know. And then they keep it till seven. That's dangerous. So then we get, we got to, we, we got to leave. And we went back to my hotel room and we were all just crushing beers. And like, like you said, you looked at your phone. You thought it was going to be two in the morning. It was, was friggin' nine. 830 or yeah. something. It was, I went to bed at 9 PM. That's so crazy. And then we had to, we had to wake up and fly to New York and go to friggin' movie premiere. Oh yes. So we got up, we woke up at seven. We went to the fucking airport Yeah. and uh, we fucking went to the air movie premiere with Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Viola Davis. And that was pretty sick. That was very cool. That movie is sick. We were freaking out before though. We didn't know what to wear because the dress code was Jordan's. I don't own Jordan's. And I went I, out and bought a pair. You bought a pair. And I didn't have any clean clothes because I took all my clothes to whatever. We were freaking out. I was dude. freaking you should out. Have seen the outfits we were throwing. Together. I was crying. The outfit I wore there was ridiculous. I wore. It was fine. <laughs> it was fine. Once we got there, I was like, "Oh, we're fine." Yeah, but I was freaking out. I thought there was gonna be like, I don't know. I, I didn't know what the hell. Was oh, gonna I was be. worried, like, because we wore like casual. We just wore very casual outfits, and we we're like. Fuck, is everyone going to be in, like, dresses and shit? Yeah, is it going to be at the Met Gala again? Yeah, but no, it was super casual. The movie was fucking the so good. The movie was so good, and it's like, it, people would think we'd get paid to say that, but it's totally not. I wish we would that get paid case. to say that. I know. But I haven't seen a good movie in a while. <laughs> Laugh, cry. Friggin', it was hilarious. It was hilarious. and like, We kept saying, Matt Damon needed that. He, he hasn't he had, like, a, a big win like that in a while. He is He's the star of the movie, which I didn't know. I thought yeah, Ben I Affleck either. was going to be or Viola Davis, but it was Matt Damon movie. Matt Damon movie. He friggin' crushed he crushed it and you're right he totally needed that mm -hmm. like ever since downsize me i mean that that fuck has been uh, uh, climbing out of a hole but i i'd love to see him win he was winning and he's sexy dude sexy ben affleck oh my, oh my god ben affleck's like like uncontrollably sexy. sexy i'm losing my mind like, when i see him i was like earthquake in my pants i i i i man what he I, had on j-lo freaking dude, lucky girl she a lucky girl people think that he's a lucky guy no she a lucky girl she a lucky duck <laughs> that was insane and he is an intellectual he is smart i didn't know that was like his movie he directed it he direct him and matt damon directed it but like you could tell like it was the ben affleck like everyone was like it was so great working with him he was like a mastermind he kept like saying how amazing the actors were and he would just step back and let them do that thing viola davis they uh, she is the biggest queen they praise her Everyone in the world it's, that works with her praises her like no other. I know. she. I mean, she's incredible to work with. She's an incredible lady, I hear. And I, I didn't know that was her real husband playing yeah. her husband in the movie. Yes. That, that was, was adorable. Really cool. And um, the cool thing about Viola Davis um, being in that movie. So Viola Davis plays um, Michael Jordan's mom in the movie. Mm -hmm. And Michael Jordan requested that. He said, yeah. you could do this movie, but Viola Davis Only has to play Viola mom. Davis' is mom. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. It's really cool. And the movie's really cool because it... I mean, it, the concept of it, to me, on paper, sounds so boring. A movie about how you made a shoe, basically. It yeah, sounds the movie is not silly. about Michael Jordan. It's about Air Jordan. Like, it's about Nike. But the way that they did it and the way that ben Affleck the crushed. story and goes, it's just phenomenal. It was such a great movie, and I can't shut up about it. Yeah, I want to see it again. Um, and it was so hilarious. It was so hilarious. And then they did a Q&A after. And me and Brianna were like, dude, I really want to say something, but I'm way too nervous. We had nothing to say. Oh, I had so to much to say, but nothing to say at the same time. Because you want to come up with something, like a standout question. You yeah. don't want to be a fool. Well, and we just kept saying, because Matt Damon and Ben Affleck are like 
besties. They're up there, like they're talking over each other. They're freaking like going back and forth. They're like such best friends. We're like, dude, that's just us. Yeah, it's just us. <laughs> I mean, it's so cool. They've been friends from bosses just forever. We're like, dude, that's literally us. <laughs> uh, but, but after we thought they were just gonna leave, but they stuck around. And yeah. me and Grace were just in the back looking at, not in the back, literally right next to them, right just like being like, like <laughs> okay, there was they were coming around with so many chicken sandwiches, and we're like, okay, we can't grab them because what if we get our chance to talk and we have chicken in our mouth? And I've done that before. I talked to Shane Gillis, and I was really nervous, and I literally dropped my chicken sandwich on the floor but we were so hungry we we're like we're so hungry we want those chicken we sandwiches so hungry. why have we been so hungry all the time <laughs> i don't but, know <laughs> um we were we were sitting we were standing next to them they probably could hear us but i kept <laughs> coming up with like bits of like what i could say to them that just i totally wouldn't have said to them like we were just joking around because we knew we weren't going to talk to them like if i were to go up to um matt damon and say yeah don't you need that since downsize me you know what <laughs> i mean <laughs> that's what we were saying what if we fucking for the q a we're like matt you needed that one <laughs> and then but one guy did q a was like matt i'm a heavier guy because matt damon wears a fat suit in the movie but the guy thought that matt damon was just fat he's like you put on a lot of weight for this movie <laughs> but i like, was like <laughs> And Matt Damon was like, ah, uh, no, I mean, I guess I could put on a couple pounds, but like, it was a fat suit, man. <laughs> and uh, I just, I couldn't stop thinking of like, all right, what about we go over there and we say, we're just two pals from Boston, just like you fellas, and we respect you. And it's like, and then I'm like, what the fuck? Why would I say that? Yeah, we were like, no way. And no then way. we just came to the conclusion, we, no way, we're not, no way. No way. And, we and just I regret it. I regret it heavily. I know, but like, even, I don't even care. I just wanted a picture in between those two boys. I know. Us two sandwiched in between us two. Wet dream. <laughs> yeah. So we friggin' we fucked up on that one. Maybe but it was great. Maybe someday we'll see them again. Yeah. But then uh, we uh, we had to wake up and go on a helicopter. Yeah. Well, I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was crazy. That was crazy. We went on a helicopter. <laughs> we went on a helicopter. Um. It almost seemed like um, they they confused our emails with someone else's, <laughs> just because it seemed like a um, a a work bonding experience. Yeah. Because there was fifteen people there. Yeah. And uh, everybody there worked together mm -hmm. somewhere, and we didn't. And we were like, "What's going on here?" We seemed like the odd ones out. We totally were. Yeah, like everyone kind of knew each other, and we were just there. It was also we thought it was in Jersey City. It was pretty far away. We, we were an hour late, but they didn't leave yet, so that was perfect. Yeah, the helicopter ride was sick, though. If you want to do a fucking no doors helicopter ride over New York City, that was actually one of the coolest things I've ever that done. That is like an it's it's crazy because it's called Fly Nyon. Fly Nyon. Yeah. It's really cool, and they everyone working there is like fantastic. Yeah, and I. I just was like, this is like a, a feeling you'll never get again because yeah. you're you're in the air. You're it's, touching. You're like flying. Dude, we flew literally so close to the Statue of Liberty. I know. That was so cool. That was like in the movies when they do that. I you know, know what I mean? Like with a drone probably. Yeah. It was really cool. Um, That was cool. So if you want to do that, do that. But we were just confused. Yeah, we were just confused. I had a, um, I had a crazy seat. And we were seat. so hungry. Oh, we were starving. And we thought we were going to eat before and we didn't. And some guy was making a vlog and I'm so miserable in it. He keeps saying, how are you feeling? I keep so hungry. <laughs> so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I can't freaking mask it when I'm so hungry i know she's 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 hungry she's hungry and she's the wolf that was freaking stocked and but you wore a skirt that was hilarious I, well i wore a, i wore like a long dress yeah. like a i had like a freaking dress and a jacket on and you i didn't know you had to we didn't know where we were going to we like really i thought understand. we were just taking a helicopter ride. i didn't know you had to wear a harness and get strapped in and i didn't know you could dangle your feet yeah, well, I didn't know what we were going to. Yeah. And so I obviously would have wore pants. Yeah. I thought we were just sitting on a helicopter, right? Me too. And going to an event after. Like, I thought. Yeah, I kind of had it all screwed. But uh, it was a cool surprise. It was just a surprise. Yeah, yeah. But I had a skirt on and it was freezing <laughs> and my legs were out. I didn't shave them and I had to show my <laughs> pussy was out too. And that was too much. That was too much. I sat and I sat in um, a difficult seat uh, th where the wind was just always coming into my eyes. So I didn't really see much of the city. I just had to use my phone to see. Yeah. I, I had, you were my on the eyes were crying, side. my nose was running, and I had so much wind, miles per hour of <laughs> wind coming through my eyes. I was like, this is fun, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was. I saw it all. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. I think it was just a windy night. I just you kept think. leaning over to you, and I'm like, you already seen over here. <laughs> I know. We didn't get to pick our seats, though. So we were with... Uh, we we're with like uh, some guys that we met on the on the helicopter like that night, yeah. and we were just like literally all sitting on top of each other. I was, was crotch to crotch with this guy. We were crotching. <laughs> we were scissoring these guys. We were, we were literally scissoring these guys. It was crazy. It was nuts. But it was funny. It was a lot of fun. And then we were so starving after because we didn't eat. We tried to get an Uber 
back to Chinese tuxedo immediately. Love it there. Um, because we were like, oh, that, that's the only reservation we can get that's open, and um, we hit traffic, couldn't make it, so then we got dinner somewhere else, and we were like, what are we doing? And I, I spaghetti I, dinner at midnight. Spaghetti <laughs> dinner at midnight, and I did a spit take. Oh, you're so hilarious. I made her do a real life spit take. <laughs> we were just, oh, we were also doing, I think we were acting a little bit in that yes. restaurant because we, we kept doing fake fights. Oh, yeah. We kept saying, we were screaming at each other saying, are we fighting right now? Are we fighting right now? <laughs> we were just making it up saying, no, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we're just so overtired. We've had, I mean, you just heard it all. We've had quite the month. That is no stop. That That's, was literally back to back to back to back to back. We got off the plane from Boston. Went. We didn't go to sleep. We nope. went immediately to the Matt Damon movie premiere. Yes. Then we woke up again, went on the helicopter after all yes. that. And then we woke up and came here right now. Yeah, so we're tired. We are, our, we were saying like our social battery Oh, um, yeah. So that's why we think like everyone's insane. Yeah. Yeah. We just can't handle anyone that's happy right now. I, I mean, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? You, I don't know. You, you're just stoked. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm, I, we friggin' had a hell of a month, man. A hell of a month. Did and, we miss anything? Um, well, we have something to talk about now that we need to talk about the mean girls versus the world. Do we? Yeah, I want to. All right. We're Everyone at Barstool is talking about all it. Right. I saved it for the end so that all, all of our listeners that don't care about Barstool can get out of here now if you don't care. <laughs> you may exit through the left. Yeah, but if you <laughs> want to hear about the Barstool drama going on. Let's get into it. Let's freaking get into it. Okay, so I'll give you a, I'll give you a layout if you don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. So there's a Mean Girl podcast here with Alex Bennett and Jordan Woodruff, and we have another ca- player in this category at Barstool, Kelly Keeks. You might know her from podcasts I used to do with her because we got high. Love Kelly Keeks. Have been close to Kelly Keeks. Jordan and Alex... We're friendly with, but we're not friends with them. Like, Mm -hmm. we don't hang out with them outside of work. They're nice girls, though. And there's this drama going on right now. Kelly Keegs made a blog and a video. Uh, Oh, is the TV not on? I was going to say we should maybe watch it. That's, like, the best way to do it, Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Let's watch her video on it. Ready? Okay. I feel like we're on the helicopter again with these headphones. I know. Um, (laughs) Could you hear anything on that helicopter? Absolutely not. Me either. I kept saying, Brianna! Couldn't hear anything. (laughs) Okay, so this is the clip. This is going to explain Kelly Keeg's side. This is how all the drama started. So this is Kelly Keeg's Keeg's clip. (laughs) Kelly Keeg's is looking really good lately, by the way. Nightmare, the Mean Girl Pod clips that get posted on the Barstool main account every other day. We've gone too far. And when I say we've gone too far, I really mean it. I am another woman that works at Barstool Sports, and I am sick of defending the fact that the girls at Barstool Sports aren't fucking idiots like these two keep trying to tell us that they are. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. I'm sick of it. I'm done with it. And I know both these girls in real life. I sit right behind Jordan. I'm friends with Alex. I don't know why they're acting like this, why they keep stooping so low as to get this bullshit for clicks, for views, whatever. Isn't At what point do we draw the fucking line? It's not worth it anymore. It's not smart. It's not cute. It's making us all look bad, and I'm sick of it. And I understand women support women, okay? I support these women getting their heads out of their asses and actually doing something for the company that isn't just ridiculous clickbait, okay? I can't have it anymore. I can't do it. And sure, who am I to talk? I, my videos don't get views like theirs do. They get millions and millions and millions, but it's all hate. It's all terrible vitriol and it's all this Girl, bullshit word. that I have to hear about from people in my real life who ask me, hey Kelly, are those girls that you work with actually that dumb? How am I supposed to tell you? That they're not. And the Barstool social team isn't off the hook either. They are constantly posting these videos Sorry, every single day. We see it. We know it. We're sick of it. We hear about these girls and how great they're doing every fucking day. But if this is what I have to do to be great here, I don't know what the fuck that I'm supposed to do because I refuse to do it. I will not jeopardize my intelligence and my integrity to look like a fucking idiot for a couple of clicks on Instagram. I just won't do it. In conclusion, you girls are better than this. You're smarter than this. You're cooler than this. Start fucking so acting like that, it. And then she also, with that wrote a blog that was 10 times harder than that on them. Mm-hmm. So she did all that. Very well written, I think. Yeah, she writes blogs like 30, 30 a day, I think. Yeah, she does very good blogs. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, that's that's the take. That's the Kelly Keeks, I don't even think it's a hot take, but that's just a take. Yeah. So um, everyone's, it's, it's, go ahead. Sorry, I, I just, she's saying what a lot of people are saying behind their backs. It's basically something she brought up too. Yeah. In the office. So she, her whole point was like, I'm, I'm nice enough or I like them enough to say this to them. Mm-hmm. But my point with that is she's contradicting herself because she's not saying it to them. She's saying it online for everyone to see and hear and make fun of them. Well, it has turned into quite the spectacle. Yeah. And that's, I think her intention with this. Yeah. I mean, she, I mean, views. That's what this company's all about. Views, views, views. Views, views, rise, views. Rise, page, views, rise. Yeah. <laughs> rise, page, views, rise. That's what it's about. But um, I don't know. I think that was just too mean. Yeah. I mean, I... 
agree with her. I agree with her. I think I think everyone is kind of getting sick of these clips because it is so outrageous. But also, yeah, I, I agree understand with a lot of the shit she said. I understand like that's taking it to another level, bringing in, bringing it online. Mm-hmm. And she could have, I think she could have brought it online. Just maybe said it a little bit nicer. The blog is so mean. <laughs> the blog is really mean. It's so mean. Like I, she had to apologize to Alex's mother for it being that mean. She goes, All right, yeah. by the way, Kim, sorry. Yeah. Like I agree with her. Like it is all the views they get are hate views. Like yeah. every single clip that goes out, it does make, a lot of people at Barstool, or it makes people that view Barstool like, oh, I don't want to consume a podcast here because it's that idiotic. Yeah. Like the clips that they post on Maine. They mm-hmm. don't post their real clips on Maine. Yeah. They post the ones that they know will get views. Yes. Which is like, that's what Barstool is supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But uh, they, they do say some crazy stuff. Yeah. But like, so do we. And it's just like, I don't know. I feel like it was it was just a little taken out of control. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at us. We're talking about it now. Yeah. When do we ever talk about barstool drama? I know. There's it's, never any. But, and it's, you know what's pissing me off when Hannah and I were talking about it? It's like when the fellas beef, it's just banter. It's hilarious. When the girls beef, it's cat fights and it's ridiculous. And it's, I don't, I don't like how, like, yeah, why this can't. Seems, this seems too real, you know? Like, yeah. Like, why can't, why can't the girls be beefing and let it, just let it run like the guys be beefing, you know? It's got to be like a whole fucking thing. Because Kelly didn't make it out to be that kind of beef. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If she went about it in a funny way and was like, you guys are morons and you're making us all look stupid, please stop. Not to go on and attack the people that they are. Yeah. That's just like, okay, that's why. That was my stance on it. When when that, so they had a clip that came out where they said they don't wash their hands. Mm. Where have you heard that? Yeah, no, they steal our shit bar for bar, word for word. We've said word that. Word for word, bar for bar. They also had a clip that came out the next day about how hot people aren't cool, like hot, like can't get along with hot people. When have we said that? Every day, Last all the time. Year, yeah. I mean, like, whatever. Yeah. And so that's that. They take our shit word for word, bar for bar. And so I was pissed but when that's I saw fl- I'm that. Flattered. I'm flattered. Thank I'm flattered. You. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What's the mean, difference? You need us. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the difference. This is where I agree with Kelly. It's like all the views, like their clips do very well. And they're all hate comments. Though. Yeah. I, I agree our, with everything Kelly said. It's just... It, it was just a tough way to say it. Tough know? way to say it. That's why I was like, yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe just say it to them. That, that's the difference. It's what I always say. Like, be a normal person and send it in your group chat. Yeah. Like, I get the don't talk behind people's back shit, but I would never say something to someone's face that I know would hurt their feelings. It's like, I, when you gossip with your friends, you're gossiping with your friends. And yeah, you're talking and it, about it. You're, you're hoping to God it doesn't get back to that person you're, you're talking about. You're knowing it wouldn't. Like, yeah. you would, I would never say something mean with ill intention knowing that they would hear it. Yeah. No, type yeah. of thing. Like, I, was, I said it. Be I made a video about it today. Human. I was like, I yeah for sure would send grace a clip and be like this is fucking bullshit yeah <laughs> yeah i would never be like Alex and jordan you big fools you know <laughs> but i don't know that's kelly that's that's kelly's brand so like yeah. i get why she did it she's crazy she owns it she knows it she's a witchy bitch yeah so, but then she claims that she owns that that's what i'm saying she owns it yeah it's just like i don't know it just seemed crazy but like barstool's crazy i guess i know and like th- there hasn't been drama in this office in a really long time and it mm-hmm. where, where it do you know? I just think it was the wrong people to attack because Jordan is so sensitive. Like, she was like, I'm crying. Like, to have your whole coworkers, like, it's different that the whole internet hates them because those aren't, like, real people that you'll never meet. They're just mean trolls. Yeah. But, like, to have the people that you work with and sit with say such horrible things about you, that's that's where I'm just like, that's mean. Okay. Yeah. No, you're, you're completely right. And that's where I kind of feel bad because I did come for them a little bit. Oh. I came for them a little bit. I told them I was going to... Well, no, those were that's joking. Oh, but though. I'm joking. I'm, that's the difference. I'm really joking. You said I'm coming to the office to kick your ass. Yes, <laughs> that's that's a <laughs> joke. They, they took our shit word for word, bar for bar, and I said I'm literally gonna come and I'm gonna come to the office, and I just landed. And I'm gonna come kick your ass. Yeah, that's a joke. <laughs> I'm here to kick ass. Yeah, we were here, we kept calling I'm each kick other. Kick your ass. We were in separate parts of the airport. We kept calling each other. Are you gonna go to the office to kick some ass? And then we'd hang out two minutes later. Just checking in. I, can I trust you? Are you gonna go to the office to kick some ass? Here's the thing about these phone calls that we were making because we had to we had to go separately because I had a lot of um I had a lot of baggage. <laughs> but I kept calling Brianna. I'm like, are you going to the office to go kick some ass? And I'm serious because I thought we were gonna go in and make a funny video saying we're here to kick ass. And no, you didn't. I Brianna I fucking did. Dude, I fucking she did. Kept calling That's why like, I called you so ass. many times. Let's kick some ass. The first three. Then why times, didn't you say that to me? I fucking did. I said I have a. Nope, lo- nope. No, you said fucking- I'm gonna go. We're gonna go to the office to kick some ass. I'm saying you. Yeah, yeah, we're going to the office calls, to kick the first some two- ass. Yeah, the first but two. But you calls- didn't say Brianna. Let's go to the vi- office and make a funny video to kick some ass. You just kept saying. Let's I just kick assumed we're on the same page. The first two calls were hilarious. They were jokes. And then the third call, I was like, wait, she might be serious. We might actually go to the office and 
quote unquote kick some ass. So I'm, I'm, I'm calling her. I'm like, dude, I actually have like a lot of like, I have a lot of luggage. Can, can we really go and kick some ass? And you're like, yeah, dude, I'll see you there. And I'm, so I'm tracking you. So how am I supposed to translate the first two of jokes, but the rest are not? Well, because I called you the third time and I'm like, well, Brianna, you're like, joking legit- saying, are we going to kick some ass? Well, <laughs> Do you think anything we ever say to each other is serious? No. So but you, if you said, Brianna, we're going to kick some ass and make this hilarious video. You better meet me there. I would have said, I will freaking kick some ass and I'll meet you there. But here's here's why the third call was so important. And the fourth call. I think there were seven. There was a lot of calls. By the last <laughs> ones, I put my Uber in for this office because you know what I was going to do? I was going to change it to there and take a picture outside of the office and be like, I'm really here. You didn't come. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's how joking I thought you were. <laughs> no, I was so serious because want to know why I was so serious? And let me say this. I called you and I'm like, dude, I have a lot of luggage. Are we really going to go kick some ass? Because why would I ask? Because I have a lot of luggage. Why would I ask because you? Because you're joking. Because I have a lot of luggage. Because no, no, all we do is bit. I know. But uh, the, uh, the realisticness of it, like I was like, <laughs> I was talking logistics. Like I legitimately have so many bags. So if we're going to go kick some ass, I really need to know because that's a lot of dedication. See, listen, I can't kick. <laughs> we can't just kick some ass. But if you said we're kicking some ass for a video. Yeah. Then it's real. We can't just come up in here and kick well, I ass. We're on the same page that we're gonna go in there, make a video, say we're here to kick some ass, and then go home. You know, it's crazy. The the ass that we were gonna kick wasn't even the, in the building. Dude, they haven't been here in three days. They're hibernating. As they should. As they should. I mean, uh, they're coming in for the attack today. Oh, they better. Oh, they here. Oh, they were here today. Well, did they, they fucking come in guns blazing? Uh, um, I want to see the I want to see the interaction between them and Kelly Keegs. Well, Kelly Keegs is now taking some days off until she comes back. Really? I think she said she was hibernating for a couple of days and she's gonna come back beast mode. Uh, yeah. Do so you think she's gonna come to kick some ass? The girls are fighting. Do you think she's gonna come to kick some? No, ass? No, because we're gonna kick the ass. You don't think Kelly Keegs gonna kick some ass? <laughs> Dude, are you, that's Kayla Presley right now. Wait, really? Gonna kick some ass. <laughs> Do you think she's going to come to kick some ass? I think she's going to I think she might actually scrap them. I think, no, you should see, you don't have fucking Twitter. Nah, I'm arrested. Dude, dude, this company only talks on Twitter. So you are missing all the drama. Dude, Dave wrote a blog about it. (laughs) (laughs) What do you say? I consume all of Dave's shit. And I report back. I watch, you don't have Twitter. I watch every video he makes, but I can't, I don't have Twitter. Yeah, so I report back to you and Mm -hmm. Dave is... Okay, he's so, on Team Mean Girls. He's on Team Mean Girls. The only guy on Team Mean Girls, really, honestly. Francis. But, okay, Francis is is weird for that because they. <laughs> okay, okay. Because they bullied Fran. They said that he was a patronizing asshole and deleted all the footage of his shit, and he's the only one sticking yeah, up for them. Yeah, that was so weird. Okay, is kiss he or ass. Is he not? You're trying to get some money from Alex because yeah. what the fuck is this? Are they banging? Are you fucking Jordan Woodruff? <laughs> what else can we say? Let's go crazy. Ah, Boston, Boston, Boston. Everyone going to Chicago. We gotta kick some ass. We gotta kick some ass. It's a comedy essential now. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. Uh, uh, so yeah, everyone's uh, well. Everyone is gonna get their ass kicked. Yeah, by yeah. us for you a video. You think Kelly Key's gonna kick? Oh, you want to see my new dance move? <laughs> Dude, I can find to lose it at that. You'll see that on the vlog. Oh yeah, with the green, we go like this. Oh god, I'm I've, not watching that vlog. Dude, okay. <laughs> Wait, we went to one party where we didn't know anyone either that we forgot to talk about. We paid to there, but we talked about it with Jack Martin. Oh, we talked about it with Jack. But Martin. we were th- so this is our dance move, yeah. and we were in at the bar doing this. I have a video of it, and then at the end of the video, we we look up and the bartender is staring at us, and we go, "She's not gonna serve us." And then this lady comes up to us and she's like, "I was watching guys in the mirror." You guys are a vibe, I think. <laughs> I think. And then we said, mm, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, I want to say something. Um, we should, like, mean girls clickbait something for the little boss. Oh, yes. Fans. Okay. You know what? Um, okay. Um, say something that you really believe. I honestly think that men's penises chop them off. You think so? Mm-hmm. Why? I think that they fuck too much mm-hmm. and I never get enough. You know what I don't think is real? What? The sun. Oh. Mm-hmm. You ever hear that theory? That's, um. It's just a light bulb. That's history. No, that's English. Oh. It's in the English books. I didn't take algebra, so I'm not really sure how to make a fried egg. Um, Alana, you're supposed to know this thing. You're the smart one. Um, I just looked it up and it says that the sun is actually, um, the moon. Oh, oh my god. That makes yeah. sense because I literally went on a date the other day and the guy's penis was chopped off. <laughs> my husband loves buying me sex toys. <laughs> do you have enough money or should I do OnlyFans? Mm, yeah, but just post Instagram pictures. We could go to Miami. Okay. Yeah, who needs a real tan when you can put a spray tan on? 
My hands are really dirty. <laughs> okay, I don't know if we can put that in. Yes, we can. That's mean. That's that's everything Kelly said. Uh, yeah, and I'm against that. <laughs> okay, but no, 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 wait, no. I stand by. Please keep that in, please. Uh, I don't want to keep the spray tan hands in thing. That's mean. That's, I'm just repeating what Kelly said. It's a callback joke. Okay, I said it though. Oh, you're just repeating what Kelly said. It's a callback joke. I don't agree with Kelly. I my whole standpoint was why are you putting that on the internet? You're so mean. <laughs> All right, fine, keep it all. Fuck it. I don't know. Okay, wash your fucking Alex, hands out. Well, she doesn't wash them. No, no, you them. Know what's, no, no, no. Here's my funny thing about what? Alex. She, um, she'll put gloves on. This is serious. She puts gloves on to tie her white Nikes. She's a big Jordan. She should have been at the Air movie premiere. She should have. She wasn't. She wasn't. Because they don't believe in dinosaurs. They're methods. You know what? But I, <laughs> they are meth heads. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I know. Dinosaurs, they're methodical meth heads. I know. It's a big thing. Uh, anyways, uh, everything we just said was fun and games, but we could keep it it's in for sure. Game, um, Alex and Jordan, I just wanted you to know I stand with you. I think that that was very mean. And um, you are the mean girl pod, though, so it's kind of contradicting that you can't handle it. Yeah. Right? I don't know. I'd say so. That's a good point, honestly. Like, I mean, you yeah. are the mean girl pod. I mean, you're not... Well, uh, but I don't think you deserve the mass amount of hate you get in. And just so you know, you have you have four coworkers in this room that will be friend, and we won't publicly say horrible things about you again. After that, we after that we're done. Publicly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. well so everyone can exit now. That's I guess. Mean Girls. That's Mean Girls. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna be in a lot of trouble after this episode. So hopefully we're just we'll doing our job here at Barstool. You got to get in on the drama or you're fired. We'll see you on Thursday <laughs> with some black eyes because we're gonna kick some ass. Oh, black eyes <laughs> yeah. like gas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you guys on Thursday. Love you. Bye, guys.